The goddess is watching. Hey, Cashmere. How are you doing, Cash? How's it hanging? Oh, the weary traveler draws close to the end. Yeah, I upgrade my axe pretty bad. How is Craig? Will you treat me with the rotter? Well, <laughs> claw your way to the top. You probably were there last night, but the the build I made was uh, goth. Actually, the juggernaut. If I if I end up do making a juggernaut, a juggernaut could be insane. The juggernaut is really really good nodes, so I might I might make a second build. In Krangle League, but that'll be after I get enough respect points to fix my uh Such resilience. to fix my uh my to fix my mistakes and how I path that character. I path that character really, really badly, but there's actually some cool stuff that character could do potentially. Again, yes, yes, okay, again, again. I want to be the fastest version of Raider. Raider has a uh, Guardian Onslaught, which I think is better than regular Onslaught. It has uh, the normal 100% Onslaught effect. It has Tailwind and it has um, the Chieftain Totem buff effect node. So between all those things, our character should attack very fast. Right now we have none of those things. We don't have much attack speed archery, but we're going to get there. We are going to get there. Receive your sentence. This empire remains filled with what about my badges? Uh, you have the two-year badge. I need to add more badges. Zillow Polymath? I don't think I've heard of where Polymath is. <laughs> we fought, I think there's like 90-ish percent of the nodes have been found. Polymath is not one of them. So there's a few there's a few holdout locations it could be at, but we don't know which one which one it's actually at. Which polymath would be actually pretty good for this event, I'm pretty sure, but I don't we don't know what assignment seat's on. Wait, Kashmir, can you not see your to your badge? Remember that guy you banned yesterday? What about him? He used like the username and then he had a bunch of numbers or whatever and he was just, I don't know, he was just trash talking to trash talk. Did you see the words he wrote under the unbanned requests? No, I didn't see the unbanned I don't. I haven't ever looked at unbanned requests. It's questionable as a worthy ban. <laughs> okay. I mean, just the, just the things he was saying, just being... Seems like he just wanted to be contrarian and and mad. It's like I don't know. I don't really. That's not the type of person I want to have to waste time debating with.
<laughs> we don't have people like people like that here. No. Number reroll. This is only like number of the builds I got past level four. This is only number three. Okay. So like realistically, we, we don't even count the first ones. I was still, I was still, I was still unsure about what I wanted. You know what I mean? What are we debating about? We're not debating about anything. There was a guy yesterday that was kind of just wanted to argue about everything and then I banned him and I don't know. Apparently he wrote something in the banner on ban request that I didn't even know how to check those. Uh, I guess proved he was kind of an obnoxious person. See so you played a lot before stream? No, I was AFK a lot. I guess I got to level 30, but... Or 36, but... I, a lot of that was I was just freaking AFK. There was attempted playing. That didn't really, uh... Pan out. Catch my drift. Too old DR, he said something that said it was fact, except instead it's just an opinion. You call yourself snowflakes or something. What's that when you're freaking. You don't have like a good way to win an argument, so you just start like name calling or whatever? Oh, it's ad hominem, that's the word. Ad hominem attacks. A lot of potential upgrades in here. Do I don't have any wisdom scrolls. I'll have to come back for this stuff. Before your emperor, you are worthy. Before the I've gotten to low life R of fire trap. What build are you? What? what? <laughs> low life R of fire trap. What ascendancy are you playing with? Before I forget, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this, I'm doing this, no hunt is and I'm doing this. Tailwind, okay, sweet. Skinning. Fantastic. Doesn't look like our small nose are great, but that's okay. Doing low life with a ranger pathfinder. And power to you if you can pull that off. Sounds a bit risky to me. As a trap node, aspect of carnage and perfect crime. Wow, that's actually like a lot of damage. That's actually that's a, that's an intense amount of damage. Hopefully, there's some other good nodes with it. That baseline sounds like a lot of damage, though. Anything good in here? I guess I'll compare it when I get everything loaded up. If I start League with Stormbrand Assassin, is it worth worse than Inquisitor and Hyrule versions? Uh, I think Assassin's pretty weak. Yeah, I, I would I'd probably prefer an Inquisitor, generally speaking. You don't have stash tabs? No, I have stash tabs. I just put them all away. I I I've been trying to reduce my stash tab use. I need some wisdom scrolls so I can ID all this stuff. I'm tired of running out of wisdom scrolls. This will solve our problem for years to come. It's 
Okay, this is our best one so far. Definitely better than our current helmet. What about this other stuff we got? Any bangers? Ooh, that could get us Arcanist brand in our build. And an open prefix for movement speed. What does this have? Fire res for lightning. I'm okay with that. I cleared all my stash tabs for the merge. For the merge with standard or the merge with something else, Kenja? Why are you so prepared? What you prepping for? Watch yourself. What are you prepping for? Let's call that good enough for stash tab organization. But realistically, I'm never under, ever using any of this jewelry, so all this stuff. What is it? Maybe made the dinner too spicy? How spicy are we talking? Watch yourself. How spicy are we talking? Okay. Cleaning out stash tabs. What's the other thing I wanted to do? I want to get Arcanist Brand. Is Arcanist Brand level 38 support? Let me check. What does it say? Please be level 31, maybe? No, it's 38, so my one character won't have that. Maybe I'll get it as a reward as a ranger. It seems unlikely, though. Well. You're right. Good luck. The sweats have started. Yeah, it's kicking it down. Sounds a little bit too spicy, maybe. Sounds like the right level of spice. I don't know that one. Sounds suspiciously too spicy to me. All right, can I get an axe upgrade? I just need this guy to sell me the dagger axe, I think. This could maybe work, but I think I'd rather have the talon axe. The, the Talon Axe, I think I'd rather have. I'll buy this base just in case. We don't see I'm the other base. You. Dang, Subtractum's already level 74. Subtractum is going extremely hard. He is going exceptionally hard. Let's go get our two regret points. I'm going to need two regrets to... go here here respect these nodes I'm pretty sure almost might is here which would be better than this maybe what is that worth it it gets us life and better strength yeah it's probably worth it because these nodes aren't doing a lot for me so it's probably worth it Sell your girls for one divine each. No one has divines. You're not gonna sell it for that much. You're crazy if you think someone's gonna buy the regrets for that price. You're out of your mind. Oh, I need to get faster attacks for my uh 
my leap slam. I forgot about that. I also want to get faster attacks for that as well. Hmm. I'll write that down in my mental notes. Will this be a werebear build? No, no, werebear is from last epoch. We are now, we are now playing Krangle League Fury. This will hopefully be a very fast raider character if we finish it correctly. This is a big, big if. Big question mark. I don't know if the tree is actually gonna support it to be that good. The ascendancy point should be good. The small ascendancy points seem like they're kind of trash. So we'll see how it ends up. Stay sharp out there. We're starting to get closer and closer to a full picture of the tree, but we're still kind of far away. What do you plan to trust it and transition to? Well, we're going to be doing melee uh, giga fast radiator raider is the goal. And I'd like to do Trinity uh, with elemental conversion phys axe based. That's what I would like to do. Wait, I'm supposed to always go left, right? Just technically going left, I think, even though it look, it's kind of going down. Without a holy relic thing. Which ascendancy? Probably would need Dead Eye for Necronodes. How the hell do I get out of here? This was a trap. This wasn't even the right way to go. I got baited. We got extra baited. <clears throat> cold to fire for Trinity. Uh, my plan was actually to go with, I'm not gonna use cold to fire as a support. I think I was gonna go with uh, gloves that weren't these. These are just give me LE conversion early on because I have a lot of percent LE damage nodes is all I was thinking. It burns, I shouldn't have eaten all it. I need milk help. Rest in peace, Unbound Souls. He's done for. He's done for. I shouldn't even be using balls. I should use faster attacks, shouldn't I? This onslaught's like not very consistent, is it? I can go faster attacks over here. It always burns twice. Don't let him know. Don't horrify him. He's not ready for the truth. He's not ready for the truth.
Can I get another socket, please? Give me three sockets. I'm just leveling grace, so this is fine. Okay, thank goodness. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wait. Am I fine? Ooh, I don't think I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I need this to be two green, one red. Okay. We're back to being fine. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's exclamation point dock. Not docks. Just dock. I knew this strangeness would pass. Yo, yeah, I'm gonna go with freaking faster attacks. Let's see how this heals. This, this might this might just be better. Shiver and shake. How can I help? Yes. No problem. How am I getting five allies? Uh, I was gonna do Skitterbots plus Harold Purity, but apparently Skitterbots don't count as allies, so I might do a Golem. Am I cheating? How would I be cheating? You don't see me moving around at snail space right now? Oh, thank goodness I got faster attacks on the leap slam though. That was necessary. Yes. If Holy Relic's better at staying alive than a Golem, then I'll do Holy Relic, but I'm worried. I don't know which one's more likely to have a fine time staying alive. Looking up the <laughs> spreadsheet is not very gizzard. I'm not about the vision gameplay. I'm about making cool builds, man. I, I'm on team, the event should have played with the true revealed. I'm on the team where the event sh either the event should have been or the event should have the tree should have been revealed or they should have done like 10,000% regret orb drop rate like I should have dropped already like 100 regret orbs so that way I could afford to explore because right now it's basically you, you, you break your character and then you can't go anymore if you're gonna actually like play this with a group of a couple buddies you'd all break your trees and you'd have to keep doing rerolls and re-rolls, in my opinion, is the worst part of PoE. It's the- it emphasizes the worst part of PoE. Boom. It is super easy to break your tree, yeah. You make a couple bad tree passive point choices and your character is way under damage for the zone and then you're just then you're just pure pain from there on out something something or tagging i'm not or tagging this is, this is legitimate gameplay you're watching okay all of you know this is legitimate gameplay you're watching Kringle tree viewer, yeah. I think that's starting to get flushed out more. Maybe I should make that part of the link. Because that's better than the dock, or it's easier to look at than the dock.
Too many shots of PUB fork for the crangled version. <laughs> nah, it's only an 8 day event. We don't need that much effort. Seems like a little bit of overkill, right? players love overkill that's pretty true though the fact we even got a krangle tree viewer is <laughs> is a testament to that right okay do i have a better axe, axe base please show me the spiky axe dang it no spiky axe we need we need the spiky I'm axe dude you. My tree is, uh, so this is what life inside it's not terrible. Like. It's, not, it's not terrible. Thanks to the documents, it's not terrible. We need to get our axe upgrade though. We're, we're needing it bad. We're down bad for an axe upgrade. How many rerolls have I missed? This is the this is the final reroll, I swear. This is the final reroll, I swear. We're making the Gigafast Raider. That's what we're going for. Raider, but faster than last time. Should be doable. Should be doable. You said that last time? Well, I'm being serious this time. Last time I wasn't sure. Hold on, hold on one second. We just leveled. What do you want? He's... I'm supposed to be being sold a good axe. Where's my axe upgrade? Where's my dagger axe? Closers are gonna be OP. Yeah, closers are definitely gonna be quite good. Considering how rough the tree is. There might be, in some ways, the tree is uh, superior if you have perfect, if you're like in the perfect spot of the tree, but even then, I don't know, it's, it's still rough. It's rough to get that value out of it, I think. Go, go, guys. Do you guys see this character we're popping off with right now? See what happens when you hunt dreams, Ranger.
See? See? You've just earned yourself some peak good performance. Can I get a tree set? Uh, sort of. Sort of. I have a. I have a somewhat of a plan. I don't know if it's a plan I like, but it's something. Was it an RF chieftain after the witch meltdown? What do you mean by meltdown? What are you, what are you, what are you trying? To, what are you trying to insinuate? If if you if you high roll from freaking master alchemist into rupturing, you'd re-roll too, okay? You'd re-roll too. If you high roll literally into what has to be the worst ascendancy out of all the options, you'd be out of there too. You'd be out of there too, okay? Oh no, clusters wouldn't be crangled now. Clusters will be crangled, or the clusters will not be crangled. You don't have to worry about that. Dagger axe? Dagger axe? I'm getting robbed. I'm watching you. I'm getting robbed. Where's my dagger axe? Where is it? What is it, Exile? May fear guide you. Should I just take this as the upgrade it is, and then we'll get a Digrax next? What is it, It's a pretty big upgrade, right? Yeah. Go where you are needed. We'll get a Digrax soon enough. Shoot! Does this break my links? No, it's fine. It's fine. What is it, Exile? Be remembered. Did I craft the attack speed? Please don't let me craft the attack speed. Alright. <clears throat> that should be a lot better than what our current axe was. I reroll two to three brick builds every league start having all tree visible. Now try to do it when you can't see the tree. You'll brick way more often, trust. I would know you would brick way more often. I'm speaking from experience. A hundred percent more bricks will occur. What are your ascendancy points? Right now it's Tailwind. After that, it's going to be Guardian Onslaught and then Raider Increased Effective Onslaught. And then it's going to be Two Kahama's War Herald. Which is actually a really strong node, but it's usually not with a good ascendancy. Brick League starts my Fall Lance's build. Super bait? That's not. Wait, is that actually true, Casimir? <laughs> plus one? What the hell? Why are you, why are you plus one in that? Why are you plus one in that? Don't plus one that. <laughs> Uh, 
last thing we needed is die to Dory right here. always works out okay it's just uh it's just not as good as other league starters technically usually i'll never forgive you for the trickster rf you'll never forgive me hey that bill that bill was good once you got the energy shield that was good when you got that energy if you just you just had to get the energy shield it's fine <laughs> he just needs a little bit of gear <laughs> he has his gun Please don't die. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to wait a minute to respawn. We're totally fine. We're totally fine. Now, let us see if you truly understand what, what it means to be a nightmare. Look at that, we're shredding. Wait, is he not doing his phase yet? Lance has a special ability to craft and I can't craft with I usually try to make an explanation on how to craft the gear I do, but maybe it's not very good. There's probably a good chance it's pretty it's free trash information. What is it? Not thorough enough. Ooh. Mmm. Do I become a do I become a staff build for a second? Do I become a staff enjoyer for a little bit? It's kind of a lot of fizz. I mean, uh, I would lose—I would lose out of my uh, my current rage generation method, though. I'm not sure I want to give up my rage generation right now. But I could craft fizz on this, can I? You need now. I'm pretty sure I can craft fizz on this. Any dagger axes? No dagger axes. Could I craft fizz on this? Get even more fizz? It's okay. You can blame me, Kadmir. We can craft fizz. Okay, and that gets me how much?
technically it's better than my current weapon. But we're gonna lose out on rage generation. Do we care? I'm not sure I should care because that's that's a, that's way more fizz. That's way more fizz. If I hit level 41, I just put that on, I think. Because that is way more fizz. One rage a second. Yeah, it's not great for rage generation. It's really not very great. Okay, Golem, I want stone for regen, I think. And then you have a good support for me. Multi strike. Hmm. No Take multi strike and we'll use that with Sunder instead of uh, Ruthless. See how that feels. Maybe that'll feel better to play. Golem or Golem? Wait, is there a different way to say it? In my head, I say it the same way each time, I think. Oh, yes, yeah, this will be better. This will be better. Just just a faster, just will pop out. Yeah, multi strikes to play. Multi strikes to play. As long as we hit just hard enough to kill things, this is the play. Wait, if we can still one tap those normal monsters, this is for sure the play. Sunder is pretty satisfying. I think I have an empty extra Sunder, maybe. Maybe I should use that instead of uh, my current Sunder. Do a little bit more static going with it. That being said, this doesn't do as good for generating Tailwind stacks. I'm kind of missing out on Tailwind stacks a little bit. <clears throat> Golem, Golem. It'll still feel the same to me. Go. You want me to say, say golem? Instead of golem? Golem? I don't know. Sounds weird. It sounds weird to me. It doesn't, it doesn't sound right. No, I don't have MTX for that. Oh, unfortunate. Why not flicker? I don't have any way to generate the charges fast enough. My only charge generation is if I kill an enemy with uh, with Blood Rage on. Not exactly reliable. Ancestral pr Protector Enchant. That would be big for me. That would be a lot of attack speed. Hey man, big fan of your builds. Need a off meta hardcore build that is clear centric and red max capable for next season. Any thoughts? Um, I'm not the right guy to ask about hardcore because I don't play hardcore, but my league server that I'm planning for, for Holy Relic, probably can get pretty tanky and should be able to do pretty fast map clears. But at the same time, I'm not a hardcore player, and therefore, you're gonna have to make your own adjustments. 
And if you die, I am not liable. I take no responsibility. None. None whatsoever. Legit or trolling? Uh, I think Shockwave Totems is legit. Kenjo's a troll here? Yeah, Kenjo. Trying to trick you. Does the event end when somebody beats Eater, or can you keep going? Uh, I think you keep going. It'll just basically log you in. It, it'll like keep the time, I think. Totem nodes. <clears throat> Who do I want on the totem nodes? Wait, I get crit if I have summoned a totem recently? Might not even bad, be bad for me. Well, I, I need the totem linger thing for my, uh, once I get Uber Lab. I should honestly ban you for calling it a season at all. Like, go on, stand out, Kendrick. It's, 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 it's not the end of the world, okay? It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You stand out, stand out. It's fine. The guy had insane ice res. That's why he wasn't dying, he was insane cold res. Only oh, scenario he's not dying there. Can't wait to get home and roll a dead eye corpse build. Log in. That could be neat. I could support that. Should I try to farm a diadem? Is that a realistic thing to do?
What do you guys think? How many, how many times will I have to zone in and out? Just buy it? There's no trade. <laughs> There's no trade. Maybe I could get a feel for what it's like to farm betrayal. Because I don't honestly know what it's like to farm betrayal. On a leap start, if you're not going to like, do it in the campaign, like if you try to do it in what you call zone. Like how, how, much, how much pain is it? Only 4,300 times. Is it really that many times? Try to finish the campaign first? I mean, finish the campaign shouldn't be a problem. But what if I want that diadem, you know what I mean? What if I want it? What if I want it? Like for sure I would I would drop it first first Katarina, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't get a flask. Like how many how many 50-50s could I possibly lose in a row? Giga staff. I expect to fully dominate now with our new staff. Play Molten Shell as a main skill? No. Previously, a long time ago, you could. But that has been no that's no longer a thing. Shockwave doesn't get clapped with nerfs. The Nowhere King. I don't think it. I don't know. I haven't really seen Shockwave be too talking about. Even if Shockwave is really good, I think it's under the radar. So I think you're fine. I think it's very rare GG nerfs something that's under the radar. Like if it's not being talked about, it doesn't get nerfed. I don't think people are calling for the blood of Shockwave. Shockwave, it's in the clear. Got a, we got a boot upgrade for for sure right now. Is that better than my current thing? It breaks, it breaks, it breaks my attributes. Bad that still pay to win? I'm arguing with somebody right now. Uh, no, it's not pay to win. Now, where was I? And thank you. Thank you. By killing Casticus, you've given us. Jade or granite? 
Hmm. Go Jade. Remember, we do this for freedom. I'd say it's like paying for regular game if you want to invest time in it. Stash tabs and map tabs. Probably closer to 60 anyways. Uh, I think you can get it for less than that. The thing is, you, you can get like over... You can get multiple hundred hours without, without any stash tabs, I think. Now where was I? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. And eventually, I don't know. I'm probably... Eventually start getting too many stash tabs where you end up just wasting time because of it. Remember, we do this for free. Like you end up being like me where you're just hoarding stupid stuff that you shouldn't hoard because you have the tabs and you're you're a hoarder. Right? That's me. That's my situation right now. He's saying it's not pay to win because of the people buying items are doing it illegal or not. I'm saying that makes it pay to win. I mean, if people, <laughs> if if trading <laughs> real life currency for in game advantage is pay to win, then every game on the planet is pay to win, right? You can literally, you can literally go buy somebody's account for whatever game, for whatever stuff they've already done. You can say, oh, that's pay to win. That's not, that's not pay to win. Like, come on. That's not a real argument, man. <laughs> if, 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 if that's your argument, that's just like, that's pretty out there. Bum, 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 bum. Kendra, I think you guys are having a dumb argument. Yeah, it seems, it seems like a pretty dumb argument. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay. I'm gonna keep on pathing around. There is decent stuff over here that I'm pathing to. I'm hoping it can justify this, this long traversal I'm doing. I have three refund points. Take the strength upgrade. Plus life. I'll take the strength upgrade. I don't wanna have I don't wanna have less strength problems going forward. Target's not bad, guys. Our single target's not bad. We killed we we killed Lavarius pretty fast, there, right? Right, we're, we're viable. We're, we're a viable character right now, I think. That, that was viable damage. Can we agree? Right, you, you got you got. Say you guys are league starting melee. This this is good damage, right? This is this is good damage. If you if your league starting melee, this has got to be what this has got to be what a good melee league star looks like. And we're shredding. We're totally shredding.
We already used merchants to buy regrets. I haven't bought any regrets yet for this current setup. But I did, I did look at the document. I did take a look at the document to try to plan out not taking completely worthless nodes. So I have a little bit of an idea where some decent nodes are. final form we're, we're gonna get better this isn't even our final form take my hundred red orbs thank you for the donation That's a nice boot upgrade for me. I can use that. That's 20 movement speed. This is also decent. What's my current thing have? Dex. Dex I don't need. Waste of pro scroll on an accident. Mistakes were made. It's not important, okay? It's not important, our armor's fine. It's not important. <laughs> Listen, survivability is not at the forefront of our, our, our minds right now. You had a hard time yesterday, you deserve to look, yeah, that's right. Everybody wanted me to suffer. The thing is, yesterday, when people were saying there was a tree, they were just lying about it. There wasn't a tree at that time anyways, so. It would've been all for nothing anyways. How does resistance work? I don't know what the two number brackets mean. Uh, the two number brackets? Let me think. Uh, are you referring to... So, the number outside is the cap. 75 is your maximum resistances. This is resistances you have over the cap. So that's in parentheses is the resistance you have over the cap. That's what's going on there. Death Ridge, man. Thanks for the prize love, dude. How you doing? How's Kramer going? It's going pretty good right now. We're leveling up a hopefully what will be a fast raider character that will deal damage. But that might be coping. It might not deal damage. We're gonna try to make it deal damage though. We're Sundering. I don't know if Sundering is a skill we're gonna keep long term, but it seemed like an okay thing to do. It didn't seem like a terrible idea. Like, it seemed fine, right? Going, like, what's wrong with Thunder?
I'm all at 85 and over 150 plus. No, I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, you're way, you're way over capping. You're way over capping. You don't want to. In this game, you generally only, if you overcap for like curses slash exposure, you only want to overcap for like maybe 20 or 25 if you're playing it safe. But ultimately, I usually just get the cap and call it a day. Is melee only playable with the game screen? No, melee is fine. Melee's fine. Bobs, what's good, man? Bobs, are you playing Crangled League? Or are you are you Crangled Enjoyer? It's not even copium. It's not even copium. It totally is, though. It totally is. to ignore us from Sanctum being robbed from making it core. Uh, I think they want to make Sanctum core, but not in, the, not in the current way it is. Because what are you gonna, you're gonna find a Sanctum once every 10 maps? Like that's not gonna, that's not gonna work, right? They have to do something to repackage it to make it more of like a, I don't know, to make it work in the current game. Hopefully it doesn't get the ultimatum treatment Where you end up they end up saying let's let's rework it and that it's uh And then it ends up uh just being the boss fight from some fragments from some random places and then we all are sad Let's go with the crimson jewel crimson jewels looking good to me All right, i'm gonna sell everything but these boots these boots are good everything else is not No wait the helmet's good too actually Okay Sell that, sell this, sell this, sell that, sell that. Open prefix for life. Could technically be an improvement maybe to my current items. Potentially. Remember, we do this right? for freedom. I could do that. If not, don't have the time. Enjoying it though. Enjoying it through me. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. But it does take a lot of extra time, doesn't it? That is a, that is pretty true. Pretty true. Okay. If I get this to be more blue, okay. If I get these to be more blue I get it to be too blue all right I think we can work with that right we can go like this and then we can go like this and it should just work I think that should just be some solid gear upgrades for us. Potentially. Although we may have bricked our resistances a little bit. Yeah, we definitely bricked our resistances. It's not an open suffix though, right? I go craft lightning res and then I'm fine. Lightning res, yep. That's all we need. Get the quest item? Um, I'm going to. Soon, probably. I'm just, I'm just I'm making sure I'm capping my res, man. Make sure I'm capping my res. Important things. Dudesman, you're not gonna get me with that.
Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna add Synchro to the core. They said they're gonna they're playing on it, but it's probably gonna be slated behind other stuff they wanna do first, right? Realistically. Be my guess, at least. That there's other things they already have on the slate to do. I don't know if they're I don't know if they thought going into this. I don't know if they think I don't think they thought Sanctum was going to be as liked as it was, to be honest. Because Sanctum's a risk, right? It's doing the thing where they, they take a game mechanic from another game and kind of put it in, in PUE. Like, uh, friggin' like, Tower Defense with Blight and, uh, Build Your Garden with Harvest. Like that stuff, that stuff is going to be a lot more chances at it and not necessarily being a positively viewed thing, right? Is the dock filled out? I mean, the dock looks pretty good now. You guys want to see it? The dock looks, the dock is looking pretty good. Look at this. They even added pictures on the side. So, Assassin's done. Berserker's done. Champ is missing one node. That could be Polymath. We're still looking for Polymath, right? Polymath is still MIA. Um, there's still one from Guardian missing. Still one from Hierophant missing. But this is, this is getting pretty filled out, right? This is getting pretty filled out. <laughs> Yo, who's finishing up filling out Necromancer? There could be good stuff over here. How will we ever know? Honestly, if there's some Giga Chat nodes back here, maybe you could save Necromancer and the, the whole War Cry. The War Cry Endurance Charge thing could actually be a thing, maybe. The Krangle Visualizer? Yeah, yeah. That thing's pretty cool, too. Do we have a link to that? Oh, this is like, this is maybe outdated. I don't know if they've been updating it more. This is some of it though. Look at our Krangle visualizer for the tree. Yeah, yeah, this is this thing, I think. They're updating it, aren't they? Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. Soon we'll have a full picture. He stopped out updating it. He probably had to go to sleep. He probably had to go to sleep. Isn't that a freaking funny example of people going hard in, in terms of the PUE player base? Because it's 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 straight up like. <laughs> It's so much additional effort. It, the league is only. How long is the league? Eight days? We're putting this kind of effort in. People are wild, man. People are wild. Did you reroll again? No. <laughs> I've always been on this character, what do you mean? Valpac could maybe work for me. Valpac could maybe work out fine for me. Hey, there's a there's the life node. I've been looking for some life nodes. 4% melee damage? How is that a small node? That's so pathetic. 4%? That must have come from the friggin' Scion area. I had to have come from the Scion area. It's pure garbage. Yo, Sneko. How's it going? I wish this was a normal with trade and longer. Yes. A hundred percent what they should have done. Ruthless with gold. Make that a one, le one week thing. Because everybody quit after the first day. Or everybody with some level of sanity quit after the first day. 
And this event should have been the one, le one week long one with trade. It should not have been Ruthless with Gold. Ruthless with Gold is a unpalpable pill that mo like 99% of people will not want to swallow. You chillin'? D4 is gonna look hell fun to you, right on, dude. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm still playing Ruthless with Gold, yeah, and you know what? You think should have only lasted a week, because let's be honest, Krangle's way better. Krangle's superior. Krangle is far superior. Toothman, stop trying to get people to follow for your for your for your trap card. <laughs> you, th you think you can just trick people? You think we're gonna fall for that? I play Ruthless Gold and I think that it's cool that I don't have to rush because it takes forever. <laughs> I mean, if you if you if you if you're down with the, the that that pace of gameplay, by all means, power to you. But I I don't I don't have what it takes for that. I do not have what it takes for that. What do you mean? You let everyone do the discovery for you, then got carried by subtract them. Listen here. There's no shame in that. Okay. The part of the event that's fun is making a build with the with the with the swapped up tree, right? That's the that's the fun part, okay? That's the enjoyable part. That's the cool part. Having the tree completely mixed and then playing with it. Having the uh <laughs> The discovery part? That that was pure pain, man. Just making just a bad character? Oh, that was painful. It's like it's like a 70% chance you, you go to a cluster, the notable at the end is not gonna be relevant for your character. So it's just you just you break your character so fast. Did you reroll again? It's not like that. I Technically, I made a ranger earlier. Okay, so this isn't really a reroll. This is a this is a going back to my original plan. Okay, Cause the ranger was like my first character. This is like I reversed all the rerolling and made the rerolls not a thing. I reversed all of the rerolling. Totem, what is why? Why is it totem this? Totem that? Plus one fortify. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I see what we're doing now. Oh, I see what's happening now. I'm getting I'm getting pranked. I'm getting pranked by these nodes, man. I forget if I go down to this first. Do I go down to that first? I guess like What does this have up here? Regen robust. Did they update any of this stuff? This is Holy Dominion. Holy Dominion, good. Prismatic Skin, good. Relentless, good. Slaughter, good. Written in Blood, good. Juggernaut, decent. Reservation is decent. Whispers of Doom, decent. Crit Multi, decent. Blast radius is actually decent too. We're gonna get all of our life nodes. Ooh, that's dude, that's good too. Devotion. Why does no one play Chieftain Burning Arrow right now compared to Explosive Arrow? Is it really bad? Uh, Burning Arrow Ignite's in a pretty rough spot, I think.
Dairy crafting this? That's the good part, man. That's the fun part. I don't get what's so wrong about that. I don't I don't get what's so wrong about that. I'm not gonna be shamed for wanting to theory craft Crangle League. Okay, I need to make sure I don't die in this. Because if I die in this, we're gonna be in pain. We're gonna respawn a town, it's gonna be a disaster. Holy Where's all that damage coming from? Did someone link the visualizer? Someone linked it earlier. Hopefully they still got the uh, the visualizer thing. You have to do like a you have to paste this code into it, but it's it should work pretty nicely. What's the point of the one minute death timer? When they originally thought of this league, they thought it'd be fun as a race thing, and then it was it was supposed to be a group race thing, but everyone just wants to play Huey with a different tree. So as far as the the enjoyable part of this, it's it's just like it's scoffed, man. The one minute death timer is just pure pain. Do Tomes count as allies? I don't think they do. That'd actually be pretty ballin' if they counted as allies, though. I think I'm gonna have to do... I think I'm gonna do Herald of Purity, and I'm gonna do a Golem. To get my five allies. Well, you can check, though. Maybe, maybe the Tomes will count as allies. What do you guys think? Do you think go, go, uh, the Tomes will count as allies? Oh, yeah, that guy looks an ally to me. Looks like an ally to me, right? He's on my side. We're a team. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. Oh. The frames. The frames. Get me out of the zone. Ugh. Ugh. The zones that randomly have all like all the frame tearing is just those are brutal. Those are some brutal zones to walk through. Did you make a scout defense? I think I think Krangled was a freaking great idea. I'm hoping they improve upon it in the future. I think they I think all we need is just get rid of the blind portion of it or give us a ton of regrets like make regrets drop like candy so that way people can actually respec and explore and not get bricked and then be done for um then after that take away the one minute death timer and make it a trade league that lasts longer than a week and and it's a good and then it's a good event right Toothman, stop. Do clusters exist in this? Yes, clusters are gonna be quite good in this, I think. Predictions on 321 crafting league and we're gonna get some op things i think they're gonna copy last epoch and they're gonna give us something like legendary potential something that makes you able to enhance unique items that is my prediction i think we're gonna get something that allows you to enhance unique items and uh thus it will balance the scales because right now rares are just completely way better than uniques in in most cases no not primal uniques no no ggg is a creative company they wouldn't just say uniques but rolled perfectly that's just stupid right they they wouldn't they wouldn't troll us like that
What's the best ascendancy in this event? Uh, right now, from all the ascendancies I've seen, I think my top pick would be Jug. Jug has um two of the best nodes in the game, in my opinion: Pious Path and Nature's Boon. Those two combined with the other nodes it has to support it, which are Mastermind of Discord, 25 minus all res and 1% mana regen. That's very good. And then it has the all damage chill node, which is also quite decent. So I think I might make a jug as well later on. I think we'll, we'll do this character. We'll farm some stuff up. Maybe we'll get enough regret orbs to respec our uh, our other guy and then we'll we'll do a jug with it. Assassin is decent. Assassin is pretty good. Assassin's one of the better ones, I'd say. If I was gonna pick one for just pure power, I'd give it to my boy Juggy. It's weird. It's weird seeing Jug with actual damage nodes. It's crazy. It's crazy, and he, and he would also still be tanky because freaking Nature Boon. Nature's Boon is just so like well-rounded. It's so powerful. You gonna fireball elementals? Yeah, ignite elementals should work decently. You need to figure out where the hell the uh, ignite damage scaling nodes are gonna come from. Isn't Pious Path bad without auto consecrated ground? Uh, the funny thing is, with Nature's Boon, you can do a sulfur flask, and depending on depending on where you get uh, flash generation, like mastery and stuff from you potentially can sustain your caught ground with the uh with the uh uh what's it called the silver silver flask the silver flask isn't even bad it also gives you freaking percent damage and if you scaled some flask effect i think it affects the caught ground effect as well funnily enough like if you have, if you have like 20 percent flask effect it's going to give you six percent regen um from the caught ground instead because i think that that was part of the change where they made like onslaught flask scale with flask effect. I think it also affects con ground as well. Are the masteries and no masteries are scrambled. Everything's scrambled. Masteries, notables, minors, majors, ascendancies, everything. Does the skill tree favor certain classes? Yes, yeah, some ascendancies were high rolled and some ascendancies were low rolled. Like, Jug getting Pious Path and Nature's Boon, I think, is a significant high roll along with the supporting nodes being good as well. I mean the whole skill tree, not the ascendancy node, not just the ascendancy nodes. Yeah, I think the Marauder areas kind of sucks. I think the area in between Witch and Shadow is decent. There's a lot of life nodes in the Witch area, along with Prismatic Skin, the plus two max Ares, one of the nodes you pretty much always get if you're ever in the Marauder Duelist area. You also get additional curse nearby that as well, which is the go-to if you're gonna if you're gonna anoint something, you anoint that because it's the best node in the tree type of thing for if you're gonna look for a node that node that scales damage so i think as far as like tree positioning here seems actually pretty good because there's a lot of life nodes so i think i think what you would do if you're doing like a decent optimal tree you'd probably grab a decent amount of these life nodes additional curse and then maybe you'd go for clusters there's some other good stuff though like marauder does get mage bane it does get elemental uh eldritch battery like some of the good keystones are down here Kind of depends what you're like looking at, what you're looking for a little bit.
I think the only way we can make it into a race would be fully random for each person or since he's locked in something like that well it couldn't be fully random for each person because that's just not gonna be fair right that's just that's not a race that's, or it's not a race like you can look at and say this is objectively competitive because some guy is gonna just high roll and get all good nodes on his ascendancy points get high roll get a good tree and that's gonna be the guy that wins the race right because it's not gonna be balanced I think asynchronous doesn't work great for this. I don't know. The discovery blind thing. I don't know. It's just taking an event that would have been just fun for people as an event and then try, trying to make it competitive is like. Most people just don't care about the race portion of it. So it's just like. They could have had a separate thing for a race, but I, I don't think forcing people to play under the race rules was a good idea. With enough tweaking, I was able to get skeleton loop mana cost to perfectly sustain the 200% from Inigon. Do not recommend. It was way too much effort. Wait, what the hell? <gasps> was it a good build, buffs? Was it a good build? Is that's a lot of percent mana? Was it a good build? And how? Wait, how did that not brick you? Cause doesn't it just, doesn't Indigon just keep scaling up? Yeah, yeah, people would keep rolling their seed until they got something decent. Yep. Do the racers even care about this event? As far as I can tell, no. <laughs> like peace, people I would expect to race or see racing are like, uh, I don't know, Havoc, the hardcore racers, Jungrown, Ventura, Ben, Nick, those sorts of people. I don't see any of them caring about racing. <laughs> so I don't think it pans out for them either. There's not much time to reroll. Nah, you could still do some rerolling. Because if it's the asynchronous, like it's just your best run or whatever, the guy who has the time to do that many different runs on it could do it, right? Could brute force it. All right, sure, this is fine. Do I start doing evasion? I maybe grab grace now. Start taking grace seriously, maybe. Grab charisma and take grace seriously. That being said, I don't even have the dex for it. I have a dex problem. Is Subtractive really considering two-hand flicker? <laughs> not like this. Not like this. He is not actually considering a two-handed flicker strike. Is he really? Is he actually gonna do that? It's yours if you want it. Uh, what level is it? 51? That would actually be decent for me leveling. I, I, forgot, I forgot that's actually a pretty decent like sword. Just like, I don't know if it works for Sunder though. Actually, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work for Sunder. We'd have to switch abilities.
Sick. Yeah, we'd have to switch abilities to take advantage of this. We're flicker now, boys. Do we? <laughs> you guys want to do flicker? I don't have. I don't have frenzy generation. I would have to cap my crit, right? It's it's fr it's frenzy. It's flicker or it's frenzy charge on flicker strike, right? Or on crit? Yeah, on crit. How do we cap our crit? Well, we at least have 10 base crit, so we have that going for us. With just the crit gem, we go to 10.6 base crit and 100% crit chance there. We get power charges with Assassin's Mark. What else do we get? That takes us to 30 base crit. I technically have found one crit node right here. That takes us to like 36, 34% crit roughly around there. Last time you did flicker, you reminded us. You said remind. Well, okay, here, listen. It's, it's like this is a special scenario, right? This is a Krangle League. This is we're Krangling. We're Krangling, you know. What could go wrong? What could realistically go wrong for us? Yeah, we could get the mark on it as well for frenzy charge. We still need to get the crit higher though. We still definitely need to get the crit higher. We still would need more crit nodes though. Like the hell are the crit nodes out on this tree? What's my current attack speed? 1.25. What is this attack speed? 1.68. Oh, that's a lot more attack speed. And it has crit. There's a sweet spot where if you get exactly the at the mana spent over four seconds, it will drop off before it endlessly ramps. That sounds like a pain to set up, folks. And uh, needless to say, I'm impressed you got that set up. That, I feel like that would give me a headache trying to get that just right. The ascendancies are crinkled, yes. So right now we have Tailwind on our on a Raider and we're about to get the Onslaught from Guardian. The superior Onslaught node. All it requires is five allies. Like how hard could it be to get five allies, right? Just five allies, just get five allies, right? Classic five ally situation. It's not that bad. Totems are allies, are they? If they're allies, then we're fine. Otherwise, we're going to be having some totems that are going to die on us, most likely. That's right, we can't afford to die, can we? What ability do we need to switch to, though, with the sword? What ability do I switch to, guys? Cleave. I'm not switching to cleave. I'm not switching to cleave. Can, can I? There's, there's got to be a real suggestions out there. You 
You can't ask Chaz to tell him you're not gonna listen to him. I'm just going to pull for the best solution, okay? I need I need a good solution. Bone zone? Does bone zone work with a sword? Bone zone doesn't work with a sword. I don't want to do bone zone anyways. Flicker strike. Okay, here we can maybe do flicker strike, but we're not ready for flicker strike yet. We're not we're not ready for flicker strike. We don't have the we don't have the setup for it yet. We don't have enough crit. We have like no crit. Sick. Does that work? Craft. I can craft a attribute on that. What's my res look like with that? Technically, it looks fine. Seven open suffix? No, it does not. It does have the ability for me to craft life on it, so technically that's improvement too. Attack speed with one handed? No, we can't do that. <clears throat> smite? Yeah, we could go back to Smite. I was doing Smite earlier. Cyclone's insane with Terminus. I think Cyclone would feel okay. As we get more of our speed nodes, Cyclone will feel will feel fine. I think I think of the things I'm thinking, I'm considering. We need, we just need crit. We need crit. We're gonna pull off any of these options, right? We need crit. If we're gonna pull off the, the flicker. How do we get more crit? Uh, no. Brace for a shawl would not double your regen on your life. It would double the ES part, but not the regen on the life part. The life part would not be affected by ES recovery rate. We also don't have frenzy charges, right? I guess we technically get like one frenzy charge on our current tree. Holy cow, that guy almost one shot me. I'm thinking Ice Crash right now. I'm thinking Ice Crash. Does that sound wrong? That doesn't sound that wrong, right? Ice Crash is a good skill. And then I can use uh, different gloves if I do Ice Crash. We can get some okay gloves for the time being. Like Ice Crash isn't a bad skill, right? The one minute timer is weird, but the respawn in high and like town is also weird. So every time we die in a map, we're gonna respawn in town as well. I can't do Fist of War because we're scaling speed, and Fist of War is only good if you're really slow at attacking, usually. But we wouldn't benefit. Correct, but whatever your life regen is, also your ES regen. So the way it works is, say your life regen is a, a thousand per second, and you have 50% ES recovery rate, you're gonna have base a thousand, or sorry, you have base a thousand life regen, 
you're gonna get base a thousand es regen and that 50 percent es recovery rate is gonna give you is gonna make it 1500 it's gonna be a multiplier for that but if you have life recovery rate so you have 50 percent life recovery rate you're gonna get 1500 life per second and a thousand es per second because it's still gonna be based on the base percentage the recovery rate applies after uh after the fact So generally like the 10% life, 10% reduced life recovery rate, that node doesn't feel as bad as a downside because it doesn't affect your ES regen in a negative way. Stack Strike was pulverize. That 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 is that is leaning into the uh if we had a really slow attacking character i think that would make sense but we're gonna get we're gonna get way faster our, our speed is only gonna go up significantly so i just don't think that makes sense for us life regenerate does yes life regenerate does recovery rate does not I can't believe subtraction is already level 74, dude. He's going, the man is going hard. What's your thoughts on the new league reveal? Uh, I think it's going to be a crafting league and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun, hopefully. They can't really afford to have a weak league. So my prediction is it's going to be good. Whether or not I'm right, that's another story. Man, it's 64, dude, nice, man. I want it, I want, man, I want my Cruel Lab. We're almost to Cruel Lab time. We're getting closer and closer. We're getting closer and closer to Cruel Lab time. I don't think I can wear any of this. I want to, but I don't think I can. Can't justify it. Heather belt sucks so much though. Maybe I can justify it later. Ooh, I probably should buy Ice Crash while I'm thinking about it and leveling it. Any of you guys opposed to Ice Crash? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Speak now or forever hold your peace. What's the base attack speed of Sunder? Man, Ice Crash is slow as well. So it's still got a multiplier then. So Vitality, Sublime Vision with Life Regenerate and Beast for Shadow would potentially be Silly Regen. Uh, yes. But it won't be, it'll only be multiplying basically half of your regen. It'll be multiplying the ES half. Flicker, guys. Am I even gonna sustain Flicker? Okay, so we need, we need to get, if we're gonna do Flicker, is there an attack mastery? Do we okay? Do we have a link to the Reddit post so I can get the updated version of the tree and try to look around for an attack mastery so I can get like splash or friggin' plus one range? No, I need a plus one range. That's what I need. I need the attack mastery for the not plus one range, plus one like attacks or whatever. Ancestral, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Raise onslaught. You're gone. 
Stone Golem will keep you in there. Pulverizer gone. You can't sustain charges? It's gonna be very sketch. There's a, there's a, there's a small world where we do, but we need... We need an attack mastery. We need it, we need it like yesterday. Are people even putting in attack masteries? I don't know if people are actually putting in the masteries. But I don't know how we would even find out. Clear storm when it gives me a headache. Yeah, it gives me a headache too. It's probably not worth it, right, guys? It's probably not worth. Seems like a risk, right? Seems like a risk. I had a FOW ice crash character. With high attack speed, well, a while back I loved it. But well, you did Fist of War with high attack speed? That just sounds so weird to me. Definitely not work. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We don't. I don't even know where an attack mastery is or my mark mastery. Like, there's there's gonna be so many issues, guys. There's gonna be so many issues. With the road to another. So like. Farewell. Realistically. We just don't do it, okay? Maybe we do it later. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we do it later, guys. How about that? We maybe, we maybe do it later. It was a leech mastery. Okay, that's what it was. I really not have enough ducks. How am I having ducks problems? Flicker sword not going to flicker disparage. That's not disparage. That's just like. It's just, it's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't have the, you guys understand, right? You guys understand. I, I won't sustain frenzy charges. I won't. It'll be, it'll be a disaster. You guys are trying to get me to commit a disaster, a travesty. Why not? Because we won't sustain our charges. It'll be, it'll be a travesty. Not to mention the other part where I, I play that and then I... And then I get all mad, you know? Not to mention the part where I get mad. Yeah, there's quite a few problems to solve. Raider plus flicker sword? I don't have the flicker nodes! It's not... You guys are... You guys are... You're making it sound worse than it is, okay? I, I am not normal raider, okay? I'm faster raider without the flicker nodes, without the frenzy nodes. 
All I'm hearing that old man eyes can't keep up with flicker. Yeah, you know, and you know, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? Besides, Ice Crash is gonna be fun, guys. Ice Crash, we're gonna be, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a cool sword, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be ice crashing. We're gonna be ice crash enjoyers. Like that's that 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 that, that could be fun, right? Any ice crash enjoyers in chat? Anyone like seeing some spice, some spiky ice coming out of the ground? I once knew Lance was the P man of the people. That Lance is gone. <laughs> Plus one ice crash. See, see, we got some ice crash doors. I am a man of the people. Chad ice crash. That's exactly correct. Chad ice crash. That is how we describe what we're going to be doing. Chad Ice Crash. Oh wait, aura stacking Ice Crash? <laughs> we're not aura stacking. I grabbed those reservation nodes so my mana pool would be a little bit less cramped. And I will not be judged for it, okay? I will not be judged for my less cramped mana pool. I will not, I will not be judged. Okay? <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out, I will not- Oh wait, there's life over here. I should grab this, actually. That's, uh, that's, that's life right there. No, I should grab this. Blast Radius. AoE damage. I don't think I have the automaton M MTX, so I'm gonna let you down on that one. I'm gonna let you down on that account. Yeah, we, we would want blood and sand. How, how do I not have that yet? Dude, my gem sagas are so limited. I guess I'll get more when I get the sword, so it should be fine. We're getting close to the point where we're doing Merc Lab, so I probably should just make the swap from Herald of Ash. The more appropriately ice crash it up. Fizz is extra with hate with hatred. Yeah, hatred would be pretty good. If we get a diadem, we can go for a hatred diadem situation or a hatred divine blessing situation. Ichimaji ice crash. No, we're not doing Ichimaji. No, 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 no. We're doing terminus test until we get a better weapon, and then eventually we're gonna do Trinity. Trinity. Race? Oh no, we could, we could stick with we could just stick with cold based actually, because I have uh, what you call it, because Ice Crash is 100% conversion, so we could just stick with the uh, Fizz and Cold Convert. That totally pans out actually. Just found the self game of any fields makes me want to cook something spicy for the new league dude it's it's pretty cooked though like and i i think honestly the mechanics of that are bugged like i don't think that's how those are supposed to work so i don't know if i would try to league start based around self game of field i would say there's there's gonna be some risks involved some definite risks involved would an elementalist with ice crash work well you mean like Ignite Ice Crash? What's the other? Elementalist gets plus one curse, proj, the Ash, cover and Ash, uh, Chieftain node. I don't know, I think it would be scuffed. Uh, it would, I don't think, I don't think Elementalist would be the right play for that specifically. Is 
Is this guy a soul eater or something? Why is he so big? How do I get more decks? I need like a 30 decks now. Where are those at? Top of the witch tree is 30 decks. Sounds kind of far away. I mean, we are going to the witch tree for the percent life nodes, but that still sounds far away. starved for sockets I'm like straight up so starved for sockets yeah none of this stuff is usable it's not usable all oh, trash wait gauntlets could be usable could be the path forward almost five minutes yeah that'd be decent I kind of just have to get ducks on my gear I think I have ducks on it. Wait, I think I have actually gloves that have decks on. Hold on, let me check, let me check, let me check. I think I have like some decent gloves that have decks. Yeah, these have decks. Attack speed, mana, open prefix. I can craft life on these. And they have res. But. Holy. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that ring. Oh, yeah. That's, I'm gonna be wearing that into the red maps. Life, life, res and res and decks. <laughs> Most importantly, some decks. It'll fix some of our decks problems. Wait, what does this do to my resistances though? What does this do to my resistances? Am I getting, I'm getting cold res from here and I can get fire res from those one gloves we looked at. Hmm. <laughs> get fire res from here from fire. Is where I, what? Yeah, that'll, that'll work better. And then we're going to 20 res from our crew lab. Craft life on this. 20 res, just don't get hit. I don't, want, I don't want to live on that level of edge. Could make this work, maybe. This is like a piece of junk. Oh, I'm way, I'm way over Captain. I was worried about my strength. I'm not actually, I'm not actually in a strength issue situation. Okay, so I can afford to do this. So this, sell this, sell this, sell this. Maybe keep that because it's better than all my other pieces of gear right now. But I have no jeweler's orbs. Yo, Mr. Apostrophe, how's it going, man? Wait, okay, I'm gonna craft a wet on this. Okay, and then... I guess I should just get the levels first. Let me just... We'll just get the levels first and see where we're at. I think, we're, I think we might be fine now. We might be fine on decks now. There's that Giga Ring we just found. We'll do the swap to Ice Crash and those gloves, and I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Our res is going to be mostly fine. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All this is looking good. Yo, Mr. Prosper, dude. Thanks for the Prime, man. Appreciate you using the using that here to uh, support the train. It means a lot. Okay, okay, guys, guys, watch this. Check this out. We 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 level fifty one here. We get a level fifty one. We swap our gloves. We swap our weapon, and we just start just popping off with ice crash. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about that? We also got that Giga Ring, which I should probably put wet on that ring too. That Giga Ring is gonna go far for us. Well, let's ignore that beast that has like a million HP. Not Bone Zone? Yeah, not Bone Zone. Bone Zone's so boring, guys. Haven't you watched enough streams of Bone Zone gameplay? No offense to Karn, but like, haven't you guys watched enough of that? Don't you want to see some ethical Giga Chad Ice Crash gameplay? Like, I'm sure that that is realistically what you guys want to see, right? I heard bone zone. No, 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 we're not. We're not bone zoning. We're ice crash zoning. We're ice crashing it up. Please don't. Yes, that, that's the kind of attitude I want towards bone zone, bone zone in this chat, okay? Oh, man. You guys remember when everyone was freaking doing Spectral Helix? Oh, thank goodness they nerfed Spectral Helix. It was painful to watch people torture themselves playing possibly what is the worst skill in the game. Like, it is a miracle they nerfed that skill. Because so many people were straight up just torturing themselves because it was optimal. I mean, I, I feel bad for the people that get sucked into playing such a terrible skill. Stormbind is not the worst. Spectral Helix is the worst. Stormbind is, Stormbind is pretty chill, man. I actually, I actually have an appreciation for Stormbind because it's actually kind of good on, on no money. It actually does a decent amount of damage. It's, it, it's super unique. I kind of like that. Why did it ever have 250% damage effectiveness for it? No one knows. No one knows. It can hit more times in spectral throw and had a uh, base damage that was, what was it like twice as high or something crazy? Dude, the golems in this zone are like the jacked out of their minds. They seriously are. We will be best friends, We slaughter you. <laughs> right, we clear this most of the zone. Let's, let's run it back. Let's run it back. XP. Turtles th throw is 100% weapon damage. Yeah, it's it was crazy how much stronger Bone Zone was. It was just absolutely crazy. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go through this node. Let's see what th I know. This is a life node at the end. <laughs> Projectile damage. Oh, okay. So we're getting like 3% life per node here. Just classy 3% life per node here. Oh my, we're getting brutalized just for the life node it, but this better be a good mastery maybe it's like got an attack mastery or an axe mastery or a two-hand mastery or maybe it's got an aura mastery like oh, actually no i wouldn't i wouldn't be that actually i wouldn't be happy about that i'm, I'm not i'm not an aura stacker okay i would not be happy i'd be I, I would be mad if i got an aura mastery i'd be i'd be upset i'd be genuinely upset You didn't hear it then. I'm late. What happened to the, to the Slayer? Uh, we never made a Slayer. That's fake news. We we that never happened. I'm not gaslighting you. I actually don't remember ever making a Slayer.
Or is it gonna get nerfed now? No, it's gonna get nerfed. Temp chains. That's just gonna get nerfed. You started a duelist? I don't remember that. That I blocked that memory from my mind. Did I did I start a duelist? That doesn't sound like something I did. All right, mission accomplished, mission accomplished. All right, okay, so now, Giga Chad ice crash time. Giga Chad ice crash time. Let's go ahead and sell off whatever the hell this random stuff is. I have my inventory, it's all garbage, yes, okay. Bank that, sell this stuff. And then we go ahead I should sell this too. It's not doing me any favors. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do is we need this to this, this to this, this to that, this to this, this to this. Do I do multi strike in this scenario? Yeah, I think we can still do multi strike with this. I think we can still do multi strike. And then we gotta go from. What was this? Our gloves? Ooh. Uh, I need to recolor this. I need to recolor this. I just need to get it to be 2-2. Two, two. Just a two quick 2-2 two, two, and we're good to go. Just need a 2-2 two, two situation. Please. 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 Oh my word. I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. I'm getting just please 2-2. Two, two. Oh, thank goodness. Saved. All right, let's go ahead and do the swap to purity as well while we're thinking about it. That there, this there, this to that. Probably sell this because we're doing a terminus test, which is just objectively better now. Probably there's better supports than multi. Oh, there probably is. Okay, hold on. We do this. Say we want that. Can we still get this? No, we can't get that. Ooh. Say we drop this. Can we get that? Do I need the regen? Do I do I need the regen? Wait, does my leech even work? I'm like fully converting. I don't know if my leech actually works. I might need that regen actually. All right, we'll turn off Herald of Purity for now. I might, I might need that regen. I don't think I have. I don't think I have base leech right now. I don't think I have base leech yet. Yet. There's got to be some generic leech around the tree somewhere though. Just some generic attack leech that isn't fizz based. Like why? Why is it always fizz based attack leech? Where's my? Where's my just base attack damage leech? <clears throat> Or a node right now it's a life node it's a life node let's be real that, that that there is a life node you're looking at don't get it don't get it twisted that's a life node we can all agree that is a life node okay there's like six to ten nine generic leech nodes yeah and there should be somewhere near me but i don't know where they are don't know where they are hiding my generic leech nodes they're somewhere though they are they have to be somewhere they have to be somewhere i'll find you generic leech nodes eventually eventually i will find you imagine just having like the generic leech node be like your first node the the the, the one that gives you double leech this node right here 
the attack and mana leech just as your first is your first point of the entire tree which is that level of giga chad node all right res is mostly figured out or multi-striking it let's see how this goes Might be near the Scion. Nah, it's not gonna be near the Scion. Why does my da damage feel like it's trash? Maybe it was just it was just that pack, maybe. Maybe it's just that pack. Wait, does Ice Crash get bricked with multi-strike? Like, do you not get the additional strikes or whatever? Is that one of those things? Don't clueless me. Give me give me real information, does it? Because Ice Crash has like the, the, the triple stage shenanigans, like no one knows what the hell's going on, right? It's very easy animation cancel, but then I won't get the multiplier for the third strike or whatever. Played it before, slams change with multi strike, and it worked back then. So it was good or it wasn't good to use the slams? Right now, the slam is feeling pathetic. But I'm about to go grab Pulverize. This slam is feeling pathetic right now. Fast attacks better, we have faster attacks. <clears throat> Let's go with eventually we want to get out of faster attacks though. Let's go with pulverize. Let's go with the AoE damage and less attack speed. I love Marwan music, I do too. Uh, I'm to cancel it after the first slam on while I'm mapping because I want to do that. So courageous. Such a fine All right, we'll see how this goes now. I simply knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Our slams are definitely bigger now, so maybe maybe this will be better. You see, His Majesty could never be satiated on his wedding day by one by one. Thank you, my new sister. This seems fine. You're not phased? I thought you were phased. What do you guys think? I, I, I like our non multi strike setup right now. Our bigger circle setup. Fist of War is Giga, I promise. I know, I know it looks Giga, but Fist of War has the downtime though. I feel like I don't want it because it's, it's bad DPS, right? I guess I don't have really that much attack speed scaling yet in my build, but I'm gonna get a lot going forward. Yeah, you have downtime while moving. So we're going through zones, it works. Maybe if I get replace faster attacks, maybe.
I think it's good they made it easy to cancel. You just have to make sure you're doing the can I move to not cancel it, right? All right, do we want to force Kit Fist of War just to try it? I feel like we could force Fist of War, but it's just gonna, it's gonna be the mistake, right? It's gonna be a mistake. Objectively, we're gonna lose damage doing that. Ooh. Some good life in res. You'd rather go for Fist of War than Pulverize? We have the off color. We don't have the coloring for it, yeah. And I don't have the sockets, so I can't really afford to do that. Fist of War is what? It's mm, every two point five seconds. That's this gonna never. This gonna never happen. Does that does that cooldown change? Is it always two point five seconds? Fist of War. It ends up getting to 1.8. That's still not good. I, I know it looks cool when you hit with the Fist of War Slam, but... It's still not going to be like... Wait, wait, guys, we're, we're going to get so much attack speed on this character. You guys don't understand how much attack speed we're going to get. We're going to be... We're going to be zooming. Just get more over your key, no. No, we don't want more Romy Yerky, man. We don't want to attack that slow. It fells awesome. Yeah. I, I will agree it has a very cool animation, but as for worth doing, I cannot agree. I cannot agree on the worth doing front of it. That is where I have to question you. Smack and move. Yeah, wow. Well, okay, while we're mapping, occasionally it feels good every 2.5 seconds. But that's still a long time. That's still that's still a long time, right? That's the difference in me slamming here. And then slamming and then slam like I want to be slamming a lot more than that and we're still like really low on what our attack speed is going to be going forward right because we're missing 40% onslaught, 40% attack speed from onslaught, and we're missing 40% more attack speed from the ancestral. And we're still missing quite a bit there. I think the one downside about the Terminus, the Terminus S with a Raider that I'm thinking about right now is the Leap Slam animation. I want the, uh, the Leap Slam animation that the, uh, Duelist has. 
We're doing like a friggin' 360 midair. Is that just with duels with a sword? I think that's duels with a sword, but maybe I'm crazy. Duel is two hand. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. The, the the twirl spin leap slam that's the good leap slam animation armor and evasion mastery that's not bad that's not bad that's a good mastery i mean right now my armor evasion is just kind of like bad but going forward in the future that'll be useful we'll get like a gain five percent evasion as, as armor or something Wait a second. Oh, I'll go back to that zone. I think I need to get lab. What support makes Flicker look like this? You know it's not Flicker, okay? Guys, we wouldn't we wouldn't sustain our frenzy charges. It would be a disaster. It would be it would be a complete disaster. We would have no sustain. We we do not have the crit for it. I'm like trying to go crit. I want to go crit, but I don't know where the crit nodes are. The crit nodes are not. They're not close by to me. They're not. They're not nearby, I should say. Are the keystone, the keystone scrambled too? Yes. Everything is scrangled. The whole shebang. Is lab here? Is there a lab trial in this area? I feel like there's a lab trial here. It's not saying there is. I feel like there is though. Maybe it's just the X friggin' two that there's one here. I'll do a quick little run around though, just in case. Cause I really want to get our cruel lab. Yeah, there is a lab here, okay. Prison so and unknown area. When the night falls. It's not saying there is, then there isn't. Yeah, it must be bugged. Axix prison. Let's do that while we're thinking about it. Not prisoner's gate. Oops. Yeah, that is a weird hodge, very weird hodgepodge.
There's gonna be some awesome, awesome possible combination that wasn't before. Oh, for sure, there definitely is. It's just a matter of not, it's, it's whether or not a week is enough time for people to farm gear in an SSF environment to showcase a, a build's potential in terms of like it being better than other stuff we've made in some way. I think Jug, the Nature's Boon Pious Path combo has a lot of potential. Like I would take the current Jug nodes over base Inquisitor uh, for making a good build, but I don't know if that's actually gonna be a thing or not. If I think people are going cold dot, yeah, cold dot just has very early working scaling, right? Because right out the gate, you're getting multiple skills that are all overlapping damage. And it's very easy to mix them all in type of thing. Whereas a lot of other builds are basically just like you have your one skill and you have to do damage with that one skill. Cold dot's like, oh, you can have damage with three decent damaging skills all at once right away. find the build i don't know if it's i don't think this is the build this is just something that i thought would be fun because i wanted a build that would go fast and i think this should go fast but we'll see how it does when we actually get to like cruel lab and stuff Level 54, no open prefix, no movement speed. We'll just let it be. Let that be. You're pathing towards Razor's Edge, right? Which, what note is Razor's Edge? I don't know if I know what that, what that one is. Any good Ascensi nodes on Raider? Yes. Raider has Tailwind. That's what I'm using right now. It has Guardian Onslaught, which is conditional on having allies, which should be theoretically doable. I'm going to try to do Guardian Allies via Herald of Purity and Golem, maybe Totem Works. I'm not sure if Totem Works or not. Um, and you can do Holy Relic as well. <clears throat> and then we're going to have Onslaught Effect. And then we're gonna have the totem buff effect from Chieftain, which is quite good for scaling. We'll see if it's enough to actually make us a viable character or not. The Raider also has chain if you wanted to do a projectile based character. Heart of the Warrior, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably path towards that.
Imagine for Jewels and Kringle League. We don't really know how they're gonna work. Okay, this might be a terrible idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this three essence monster. I want the three Alks. Yo, subtract them, man. How's it going, dude? Thanks for the raid. Dude, thanks for this turn recess. This is a nice two-handed upgrade for me. It forced us to switch into, um, not Sunder, because Sunder doesn't work with swords, but I think it's pretty good. We're trying to Ice Crash. I've never really made a build with Ice Crash, so I don't know what to, what to expect with it. I want these three Alks though. I really want these three Alks. I need to be able to Alk my gear. If I get a good base, this will be necessary. Worth, value, huge. My build's now Kringled, I'm just stuck. You got all the way to maps though, you're like level 75. How Kringled is it? Have, have, you, have, you, have you remained pure or did you look at the, did you look at the tree? I haven't remained pure, dude. I, I, I tried to plan my character based on the, the Google Doc. It's a centaur build now. It's a piece of art. <laughs> I ended up drawing a centaur. Are you think? Are you considering gonna reroll with any of the other classes that have good stuff? Or are you gonna? Are you gonna try to fix it? Or are you gonna say, Ah, I don't. I'm done. I'm done with Krangled League. Are you gonna hang up the towel? Where? Where are we at? It has two legs and a log arm to Avatar of Fire. Oh, you went all the way to Avatar of Fire. Yeah, because you're talking about doing elemental hit. But is it? Is it too bricked to to operate in its current state? Basically, is what it sounds like. There's a tool with more of the field than passives. It's a bit easier to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think I saw that on Jung Stream. I think my brain slowly crangled out, not calling 100% quits, but I don't know how to fix it without 50 plus regrets. Yeah. This event, like, could have been so freak. Like, if if they just, like, had, like, a thousand, no, 10,000% regret orb drop rate or something, like, just, if regret orbs were as common as, like, freaking, I don't know transmutes or alchemies or something then i'd be okay with the blind if, if they don't do that they just make the tree like not freaking blind so people can we can plan stuff out man i want to be able to plan i've i've started to go down the degeneracy road of just um looking up the uh the uh, all the different passives that try to somewhat plan it out ahead of time that's what's hopefully going to make this character viable but we'll see if that even works the only way yeah it is it would be really good if they kept the wheels attached i kind of think that too like in, like instead of freaking having all the small nodes mixed i i think if they kept the the wheels rotate with like if a life wheel stayed a life wheel and stuff ha having having to spec two because every single time you find like a good like maybe you have a good notable it's attached to two travel passives which that's really really rough sometimes you luck out and you get some decent note like some decent travel passive before you would get it normally you get some of that back but it's still like it's still pretty rough i i, th I think maybe attaching the clusters keeping the clusters together would make sense i, I, I can agree with that too it, it's a bit too crangled they, they did go full crangled on it What's the plan for five allies? Okay, so right now it's gonna be Herald of Purity plus Golem slash, I don't know, maybe my totem counts as an ally. <laughs> maybe my totem counts as an ally. If the Golem doesn't work, maybe we'll, maybe we'll work some, mix in Holy Relic. I'm so sad that Skitterbots doesn't count as an ally because that would've been an unkillable ally. Totem counts? See, I'm fine. I'm fine. If a totem counts, I'm already planning to put down uh, both Ancestral and the other guy. Dude, the totem... Okay. 
the totem node from chieftain is better than it looks guys okay it's it's like a hundred percent more damage that node it's it's crazy it's like if you put down those totems you're just you're giga damn giga damn. i just have to put down a couple totems how bad could it be how bad could it be yeah it's astral boys We're back to that. I'm fine. This is a, this is gonna be a viable character. You guys are you all see, you all see the viable character coming in hot. That's what I thought I was gonna do when Nick suggested that phantasms on the golem should work. <clears throat> oh, instead of doing Herald of Purity, and then you save the reservation space. That can maybe make sense. Wait, don't the, don't the summon phantasms need to like, don't you need like kills for that to actually proc stuff? I, I, I no, I don't, I don't want to rely on the golem. I need, I need the unkillable, I need the unkillable herald of purity. The golem, the golem's gonna die. Like realistically, the golem's just gonna die. If the, to the totems are gonna be more reliable than the golem, I think. Cause the golem, he's just gonna die. He's straight up just gonna die. I wonder if the, if the buff effects linger, that that maybe that makes my ally bonus linger too. Maybe if it makes my ally bonus linger as well, that'd be that'd be kind of neat. Meat shield plus mini life. I don't think that's gonna be enough for the golem to not die. You kind of need to be like spec for it. I guess I might have already picked up some small passive that gives minion life because of random travel passives, but I don't know if that's that's probably not something I can count on. Did I see this? Oh, the Krangle viewer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to review that at some point to try to refine my character when we have more regret orbs. But I think for the most part, I have a decent idea of what I wanna go with stuff for. How long will it take me to get a better weapon than a Terminus Ast? Like, it shouldn't take me too long, right? I should have a better weapon soon, TM. Phantasms also spawn on hitting rares. Yeah, but Phantasms can die. And how fast is my Golem popping those hits? Oh, speaking of Golem, actually, now that I think about it, I do have Golem life. <laughs> I do technically have 15%. I, re I actually remember that now. I have 15% Golem life right there on that small passive. So, so he's not gonna die, right? I have one 15% node. He's he's surviving for sure. There is a plus one golem node. There is. I don't want to grab that though. I I don't want to do freaking golems. They're gonna die. They're one hundred percent gonna die. That that is it's all but guaranteed. Those guys are dead, right? Uber Shape Revival build already? Not quite, not quite. Soon TM. <clears throat> okay, so we grab this. Talk to her. This is where I like to go and do friggin' uh this is where I like to go and do ooh, my cruel lab. I'm freaking pumped about this cruel lab. It's 20 all res, 10% more damn, and onslaught. That's 100% gonna be reliably up, okay? And that's just the facts. I'm definitely not gonna have issues sustaining this onslaught. And not copium, just the cold hard facts. Reliable onslaught. It's gonna be, it's gonna be reliable. It's gonna be reliable. All right, um. Can I refund this? Let's just pretend I didn't grab this node. All right. Boom, boom, sword damage into Holy Dominion. 
charismatic life up here life i think something else that's usable we'll go from there just farm an onslaught on hit synthesis rig then why am i this character okay i'll be honest there there is an alternate world where i make the giga jug because i do i think jug's insane as well this just sounded fun going fast sounded fun it looked like subtracting was going fast. I was a little bit jealous and I wanted to go fast too. So that's that's where we are right now. Attempting to go fast. We'll we'll just play this character till we have till we have 30 regrets and we can fix our Marauder. Because I don't want to re-level the Marauder. Marauder leveling is pure pain. Kind of a lot of life that's kind of a lot of life it has an open prefix no it doesn't have an open prefix i'm blind but it is a lot of life doesn't technically brick me but i need colors for it i need colors This isn't last epoch. Wait, am I streaming in the last epoch category again? Did I, did I, is it? <laughs> How long have I been streaming in the last epoch category? Is it, is it still say that? Or are you messing with me? No, you're messing with me. Okay, I was gonna say. I thought, I was like, if it still has me in the last epoch category, that would've been a, PTSD from yesterday. That was. We streamed the last epoch category for like a couple hours yesterday. All right, boom, fixed. Now we have an appropriately larger life pool. Is this path out? Okay, we're good then. We're good. Oh, yeah, Jim, where are you getting these game command from? Jim's intimidating me with his PoE knowledge. Probably just knows that off the top of his head. Not PoE General, knowledge. Streamer command knowledge. He seems so he's seeming a little bit too knowledgeable right now. The, like he knows a little bit too much. Yes, I thank you. Though I, there's an till next time shall we keep. So it's almost like I've been around a while. Yeah, it's very sushi. All right, so we go with this thing. Old dot minion damage, poison on spell. What what, what is this? What is this garbage? Am I getting all these min? Do I? How many minion nodes do I have? I have. I we'll have one, two. Okay, like if I start to get. Do I, do I have to grab this node just because I have minion damage everywhere? What is this? What is it? What is all these? What is all these minion nodes? Where do these things keep coming from? Do it. I don't want to, but I might have to. Knows more than a streamer. Yeah, well, okay, he's been doing it longer than I have, okay? I have not been- I'm, I have not been streaming that long, okay? Did you make fun of minion players 24-7? Uh, it's not 24-7. It's only regularly when everybody starts getting me going on the subject, okay? You get me talking about the subject, I'm gonna say a few things about minion players, okay? Calling Jim old? Well, I mean, he's clearly older than me i'm young and thriving you know he's been in the scene of twitch a little bit longer so he knows all these random commands 
it's kind of evident, right? You don't see me doing random Twitch commands because of my old age, like Jim. Minion players equal minion complainers. Complainers, not always, not always. There's a large contingent of minion players that are minion complainers, though. There, there is a large overlap there. Aren't you a minion player? It's more, it's more of a, it's more of a castle channeling, cyclone, shockwave sort of character. It's not really the same thing. It is completely different. You can play a bash of minions all you want, but you play melee. Melee's fine, guys. It's totally fine, man. Melee's fine. That's why. That's why when I was planning out this build, I thought, yeah, that's a good idea, right? Because it's totally fine. I would. I wouldn't just YOLO a melee build in Krangle League if I didn't think melee was totally fine. No, there's no spiders involved. It's it's just my holy relic boys. There's some there's some exalted orby boys, and that's it. Wish I had your confidence. Yeah, it takes a while to build up this level of confidence. We might need to upgrade out of a terminus pretty soon. We might need to get a Giga Chad like thousand DPS axe real quick here. We get we get our Giga Chad thousand DPS axe. We probably can uh, we can start dominating everything. That's what we're missing right now is our, our Giga Chad thousand DPS axe. <laughs> we're getting we're getting close to infinite DPS though. Wait, am I still generating rage? Wait, is the axe now just rage on hit? It's not even like freaking axe specific. Well, that's good for me. Okay, where the hell is the lab? The lab? Oh, I've ran right past it. I was blind. Was doing it with the staff too? I didn't even realize. It must be generic. No, axes or swords. Wait, wait, was it giving me rage with the staff? If it was giving me rage with the staff, I know it's broken, right? time lab time okay all we need to do is we click the onslaught node we fix our reservation so we have parallel purity instead of like vitality which It's not that bad. It's not. It's not that bad. I could. I could just draw precision, maybe. Never knew you could skip the light levers. Yes, you can. You can run right, but just blow right past those. Okay, wait a second. There's gotta be like a little bit more reservation stuff in the area, right? You guys know if there's any more reservation stuff in my in my local vicinity where I am in which area right now? Ooh, the weary 
traveler draws close to the end of the path. Some things that slumber should never I guess we'll fix it all when we get diadem. We'll fix all of our reservation problems when we get diadem. That's the truth. Oh my word, look at us just completely annihilating him. No two battles are alike. You, you are see that? Inexhaustible. Instantly phased him. I don't even have my onslaught node yet. My onslaught node that's gonna give me 10% more damage and onslaught. And it's gonna fix my res. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the frames. The frames, give me back the frames. find the correct door. Correct door has to be over here soon. A lower pro duelist ranger now has a reservation efficiency and soul of steel. Uh how close is how close is that? It's not too far. I don't know if I want to run. I don't know if I want to go that far though. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll just swap. I'll just, I'll just drop my vitality. I'll just drop my vitality. I'll drop my vitality and uh, there's going to be some leech node. I'm going to run past and I'm going to grab the leech node and life's going to be fine. Like realistically though, like where are my leech nodes at? That aren't fizz damage base. I guess that's where that's where I need a cluster, right? That's where I need like an attack damage cluster. That's how I fix it, right? I just get I just get the feed the fury. Just get one of those, just break one of those out, and we're good to go, right? Finish this. Not even close. We did not come close to dying there. We did not. We did not come close to dying there. That was perfectly calculated risk on our end. Perfectly calculated risk. Replenishing remedies. We have that. That is Fizz Leech, I believe. Physical attack leech. Yep. I guess we, we could just get rid of all of our elemental nodes, but that feels wrong. That's a lot of our percent damage. No, we can't get rid of our elemental nodes. We kind of need those. We kind of need those. Lover Thief is in Marauder Land. Yeah, it is. That's way too far away. I remember when we discovered that yesterday. That would be baller right now. Hover Thief would be absolute balling for us. You can still anoint it, I guess. Like, it's a cheap anoint. Just find a few oils. Pop in the anoint. Grab Valpact. Pretend we're a Slayer. Get the Forbidden Flesh and Flame to steal Overleech from uh, the Pathfinder. Then we're, then we're good. Cheapest that has a crimson. Not terrible. I just have to do like a few blights. A few blights and I'll bag it and tag it.
Does anyone have a trap Krangle POV? I don't know if I've seen any trappers doing yet. I think if you want to do a trapper POV, I think you do Pathfinder, Aspect of Carnage, Perfect Crime, and maybe a couple other nodes. I don't know what else they have, but that would maybe work. I don't know about what other nodes the Pathfinder has though, but those two nodes would be solid for traps. You could also just freaking go something more generic. That's just like generically strong that'll work. An emperor must keep those promises. Like assassin would probably be decent. And there's a lot of trap stuff around here, I think, or some decent Empire trap stuff. Awaits you with open jaws. You're definitely gonna want to look at the uh, the special Krangle viewer, right? Oh! Why is he tagging so fast? That was stressful, but we did not die. What skills is this? This is called Ice Crash. This is called Ice Crash. Whew. We did not die. We almost died, but we did not die. We were, as I say, victorious. This shield's actually pretty good. Kong means. We don't know where the blind note is, do we? We figure out where the blind note is. That would allow you to play to that would allow you to play a non-trapper with the Kong Mings. Wherever the blind note is. Has anyone added direct PUB support yet? No, I don't believe so. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. Kong means and a heartbreaker. We can make something with that. We can make something with that. I doubt they'll update PB for such a short event. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. It'd be very weird. That'd be very kind of weird. Dazzling Strikes is blind note. I mean the Born in Shadows is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the born in shadows. All right, <clears throat> it's time. 20 all res, 10% more damage with one ally. And then it goes higher. We just have to have purity. Okay, let's just do this. Let's try this out and we'll see how it goes. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's completely bricks are sustained. See, see how it feels. Maybe, maybe it won't feel that bad. Maybe, maybe it will feel fine. Just code it in. <laughs> you need a trio file. I don't know what's required, but it sounds like more work than I would want to do. Onslaught. It works with totem. It works with totem. So we'll have it for a single target. Which would be pretty nice. I don't see Born in the Shadows in the Krangler viewer. I don't think I saw it on the... It, it, it's probably one of the undiscovered nodes. Would be my guess. That node plus um, what you call it would allow you not to go spell suppress to some extent on Ubers. This is a lot of spell damage reduction. Oh, that's something I didn't consider. 
to think about. There might be some ascendancies that have a really high concentration of percent reduced damage taken. Because normally there's a few different nodes that give you reduced damage taken around the different ascendancies, but they're not concentrated anywhere. But the likelihood of that stuff all being together would be probably low. How good is the R of Slayer? I didn't make the R of Slayer. The other Slayer nodes we found so far are pretty bad. They're pretty rough. They are pretty rough. There is a world where we make a Righteous Fire Marauder though. A Righteous Fire Jug. The Righteous Fire Jug is real though. It has Pyre's Path, Nature's Boon, the Chill Node, and the Exposure Node, which I think is actually pretty reasonable. Cultus has a lot of damage reduction. Yeah, Cultus nodes are, well, they have the Fortify node. What's the other nodes that Cultus got? I remember seeing a Cultus had Fortify, the movement speed, attack speed node for Pathfinder and the uh, Cull node. I, didn't, I don't remember anything else besides those. Kringle is a soft core event. Fortified Bash Element and Champion Taunt. Yeah, that is a lot of, uh, that's a lot of concentrated damage mitigation. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe too much. You kind of want, you kind of want some damage somewhere. You want some damage somewhere. Yeah, it's, cool. it's a lot of girth, yep. Did he just... Did he kill my Herald of Purity dudes? Wait, I thought those guys didn't die. Wait, they died too? I thought they couldn't be targeted. <laughs> what? Since <laughs> when? I mean, we still shredded though, right guys? We still shredded, we still dominated that fight. Let's be honest, we still dominated. You need more minions than totems. Technically, I will get more totems. I just have to get the multi-totem support thing. It's just so rough early on, because you have no extra, you're like your links are always so trash. Where you're just, like, you have no jeweler's orbs to start out with. Until you get to, like, blood aqueducts. It's just a problem, right? Herald of Agony is immortal? I thought Herald of Purity used to be. Maybe Herald of Purity used to be immortal, immortal at some point, and then they changed it. It was too good. That had, had to nerf it, maybe. Too clean. I think at one point they were untargetable, but they got nerfed. Maybe I'm thinking about Holy Relic. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I, for whatever reason, thought they were immortal or couldn't be targeted, but 
I guess I, I'm clearly wrong because they definitely just got erased by Arakali. Speaking of our colleagues, Spooter builds or Pog. I've never, I've never been a Spooter enjoyer myself, but maybe, maybe at some point we could enjoy. Maybe at some point we could try, give it, give it a little dabble. Okay, so I know Prismatic Skin's here. I think I want to go get Heart of the Oak next. Accuracy, Maces, Crit Chance. At least it's got some crit. At least it's got some crit next to my Life Node. Okay. Okay, should I have just have gone? And what did I do? Why did why did I do this? Why why did it why? What was I thinking? I was like, I was like, oh, there's some decent nodes up in this area that I'll take advantage of. But like, there's, there's life nodes here. So it'd be fine. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I thought the travel nodes would be better. I thought there would be better travel nodes than what we got. Another reroll? No, not yet. No. No, this character's actually doing decent right now. It's it is it doesn't our our big power spike is Uber Lab, a decent weapon, and we're just gonna be bankrolling. We're gonna be absolutely bankrolling. Our speed is going to be ridiculous. He's got Soul Eater. He's got Soul Eater. He's, he's got way more HP than a normal monster. Okay, that, that, that should have been a one shot. I thought I was gonna have more issues with sustain, but I must be regen or something somehow. Well, I guess I'm pressing my life loss, so maybe my life loss is carrying, carrying hard enough. Yeah, I know it's my life loss. I'm not sustaining it at all. What am I saying? We need the attack leech is what we need from the cluster jewels. I wish the slow hitting slammer was still a viable playstyle. Yeah, it got a little bit wrecked when it became built around or based around slams. I think that I don't know that that sort of like that's that change where all the war cries was where all its power came from and then the, they nerfed the war cries and i don't know it was i was always a big fan of slamming type things but it definitely took the short ends of the short end of that stick for sure we're getting a buff patch though we're getting a buff patch maybe slams are on the agenda slams mana spell slinger Be quite a few things on the agenda.
Buff patch? That's not even copium. What, 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 for what reason do you think they wouldn't give us a buff patch? Everything that we've seen communicates buff patch. Just sh sh straight up everything. Everything we know says buff patch. Good luck to you. Good to see you. There is nothing else. It's 40 gem buffs. No, not not a buff patch like that. Not not that kind of buff patch. A real buff patch. A real actual buff patch. Totem buff patch, maybe? No, 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 no. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that to me. They wouldn't do that to me. I mean, they wouldn't do that to all of us. Like, come on. A buff to totems? No. No, no. I I am gonna be okay. Here's 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 what I, here's here's my top hopes. Not necessarily predictions, but what I hope will happen. Um, I'm hoping Giga nerf to totems, and then buff from basically everything else. Giga nerf to totems, buff to basically everything else. That's that would be great. I think if they, I think if that happened, maybe maybe we could finally save Palstron from his addiction to league starting totems because it's it's out of control. Honestly, it's out of control at this point. Just nerf all the totems, buff everything else, and maybe we can finally save Palstron from his sick totem addiction. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I'm trying to help you, okay? I'm trying to save those playing a terrible playstyle known as totems from terribly unfun gameplay and allow them to see the light of other options. He may be a glutton for punishment, but I'm hoping he can see the light. He will see the light eventually. Are they gonna do a balance manifesto? I don't think they're gonna do a bal balance manifesto this time. Didn't they say something like, "Hey, we're just gonna do the patch notes after the reveal"? Like they're just gonna they're just gonna drop the the thick meaty patch notes on us, and they're not even gonna do a balance manifesto. No manifesto, yeah. I forget what the hell the the reasoning behind it was. It was something about I don't know. This isn't a manifesto patch or something. I don't know. Dex tagging Blissa was really good for you in Sanctum, yes, but have you considered the fact that even though it was strong, it objectively was much less fun than every other playstyle in existence, and you could have had a lot of fun playing not Dex tag, but Little Ballista. Have you considered those? Feet support for totems, heard it here froze. Yeah, yeah, what? So totems can walk around, and then now they're basically just a different form of minion build? No shot, no shot. The last thing I need is a minion totem player alliance, okay? That would be, that would be terrible, okay? The last thing I need is the people who enjoy playing the way, the worst playstyle in the game, combining forces with the people who complain about the tiniest nerfs to their overpowered builds. It would be an absolute menace to the game if those people could find some sort of common ground with totem that have feet.
me. They should do something with strike skills. I, I'd be down for the strike skills start try target the ground. I wonder what else they can do with it. Holy cow. Where's my volume control? It's too loud. It's too loud. Turn that down a bit. All right. It's actually a sick joke that you're forced to use totems for 100% more damage and speed. Yeah, well, okay. It's technically only 30% more damage and speed if you don't have other buff effect besides Panopticon, but it still relates to literally doubling your damage, and I, I agree. Friggin' totems are so stupid, man. They're just so friggin' stupid. I'm literally using a totem right now, and I, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit like, I hate it. I hate it a little bit, not gonna lie. There's a little bit of pain every time I place this stupid little totem thing. Like, what is it doing? It's doing nothing but giving me a static buff that I should have anyways. True. Make RF apply to melee damage? Dude, I might actually be good at making melee builds if they made RF apply to melee damage. Unironically, I'm pretty sure they, they make RF apply to melee damage and I suddenly am able to make melee builds that are decent. That would, that would maybe do it. That would maybe be the, uh, the key right there. The key to the kingdom right there. Clearly you haven't seen the light of Divergent Decoy Totem. No, I haven't. Link me a video of Divergent De Decoy Totem being a good build. Show me the light. Because there is no light at the end of that tunnel. I remember when that all quality. Wait, no, it was Phantasmal Decoy Totem, wasn't it? I thought it was Phantasmal. What's that version do? What about Xbox Mines? I just have 32% attribute plus two zombies. Eyes of the Grey Wolf. Rip Baron. I mean, you could still make a Baron build. You could, you could make a Baron build right now. You could be logging in. Be a Baron Enjoyer. I think it's a rise without the hat. I don't even remember what they did to the hat, man. Did they fundamentally change the hat? Divergent is 20% totem life regen per second. What the? Why? 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 What? For what reason? For what reason? Okay, um, what was I gonna look up? Baron. Wait, that's not what I should look up. I should look up Baron PoE. That's the correct thing to look up. <clears throat> the helmet's disappearing next league? Wait, they're discontinuing it? What? Hold on. What did they do to the text? What? What is this? What, what happened to this UI? This just looks wrong. What is this white stuff? Does anyone else think this wiki looks wrong to you? This does not look right. It's the dark reader? Hmm. Oh, do I need to turn off the dark reader on this? Is that what's bricking it? Uh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll we'll switch that. That is brickiness. Okay, fixed. It looks right now. That was whack. <clears throat> so. Okay, what is this now? Plus one zombie per 500 strength, plus two minions. What did it used to be? From 300. 
And then they made the leech roll a roll. So they took away the flat strength and they made it a per 500 instead of 300. Am I reading that correctly? Is that the correct way to read this? So from the Baron nerf, you lost, how much did you lose? If you were getting 3K strength, you were getting 10 zombies. Now you're getting six. So you lost four zombies or something like that. Zombie builds don't use Baron nowadays. They use something else. They don't go strength stack and they just do zombies with regular scaling. I mean, I'm out of the loop on what the hell people do for, for the Baron build, but I do remember the Baron builds being quite, quite dominant in like Metamorph or Blight or whatever the hell it was. Why is that helmet disappearing? I don't think it is disappearing. Uh, did they say something about Baron getting deleted? I can't remember the last league I didn't go Panopticon with the multi totem. It is pretty necessary for totem or for melee builds if you're going to optimize the DPS, but it feels super bad to play around. You're talking about Sandstorm? Yeah, Sandstorm is going to be legacy until a div card is added, slash they re add Sanctum, as far as we know. In Blight, it was Baron and Cyclone plus Castle Channeling Spirit Offering. I thought it was two leagues that it was freaking the, the zombie boys. Was it not two leagues in a row? One of the leagues, it was more popular, but I still felt like it was like two leagues worth of freaking zombie boys before they finally got an axe. I could, I could have sworn it was like two leagues in a row. It wasn't just Blight. It was like the league before that too. Yeah, it was like Metamorph too, wasn't it? Was Metamorph and Blight right next to each other? What's the Reddit theme song? Check my PvP. They played one. It was all the rage. I'm pretty sure it was two leagues in a row. Even if GG somehow made it where melee didn't need totems anymore, people would still complain. Yeah, people complain about everything. There's whiners everywhere. There will be the people that are like, "I want my totems. I liked it." Which there's a theory that the guy who says he liked the totems and the guy who complained about the totems are different people. But I think I don't know. Be careful. I think there's some people that just they find they they did not play in PvE anymore and they just every single change that ever happens they they keep an eye on the reddit and they they want to come by and complain Don't drink the water. i I've, I've decided that there's 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 people out there that literally specifically make an effort to find a way to come by and complain about stuff when there's things that change i think that occurred to me 
How long ago was that? Um, it was uh, I don't know. I, I just I just have a couple of people that I see like always post on my videos, and it's always some sort of negative, complaining, whiny thing about GGG. And the other day, one of the one of his posts was literally another complaining whiny thing but it, at the end of it he, he included the part where he hasn't played PUE in like three years and I was like why are you still watching my videos why are you still taking the time to make a complaint post every single time I, I was completely baffled I was like mentally stunned that somebody would take that much time and that much effort to be a negative person with something they like they haven't done in years apparently Hate watchers is, is that is that really like a, is that just a real thing like this just seems crazy to me I've never liked feeling that the need to use incest totems <laughs> not or ancestral totems dude calm yourself down haters gonna hate, yeah for sure also got banned for RMT maybe he posted on the reddit about how he didn't RMT and he got banned for it now he's innocent. Are those guys usually innocent? The guys that got banned for not RMT, but <clears throat> do they just get their they're just a bystander of some of some friggin' like travesty that occurred? They're never guilty? Are we sure though? They seem kind of guilty though. I feel like when I read those posts, they seem guilty. Sometimes you can get nuked if somebody in your guild was banned for RMT, but those are usually appealable, yeah. Totem should replace banners. Uh, I don't like the idea of that. Having a 10% reservation for having a 10% reservation for 20% more damage. That is also more minion damage, dude. I'm gonna have to grab spiritual aid. Why do I keep getting? Why do I keep getting freaking minion damage? Where is he coming from? I'm gonna be forced to. At this point, those two points are worth it. Remove the totems and give those da those skills that much more damage. I don't know if that's a change they're gonna go for. I mean, what did they do most recently? They gave us the mastery that gave totem buff linger, right? I don't know if they're gonna fold and give us the totems gone no longer related to totem damage or melee damage The sign from is not a sign from above. It's just mere coincidence is what it is Chris said that they made the totem linger change before all the feedback. Wait, so they did comment on that and say like, yeah, it wasn't the greatest change. So if they, if they said that, then maybe there is hope for a melee buff that isn't related or like is supposedly gonna take away the, uh, separate the totems from the melee. But they, that, would, that would give me hope that that's a possible change, right? There's an Apache Elements. Interesting. I missed that one. I, I don't remember that happening, so I, I must have not read that one.
Totems don't really fit the archetype. No, no, they don't. They don't make sense at all in the in the context of a melee character. No, 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 no. Why would you combine the worst possible playstyle in the game with anything else? Just let it be its own thing. For the masochists who like to have an unfun game. Keep the totems in their own little their own little contained facility, not ruining other playstyles. Imagine an MTX armor set that turns you into a totem. That'd be terrifying. I played Bone Zone for the first time in this league and I enjoyed it, but the setup before I actually deal damage is just annoying. Yeah, that's the totems, right? That's gonna be me though. I literally have a build where I'm about to spec War Herald. Oh no 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 no! no. What? Why? What, what am I doing? It's so much damage though. What am I doing though? Hmm. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm thinking about it a little bit more now. My brain is starting to like it's it's running the numbers and it's not it's not liking what the, the numbers are saying. It doesn't like what it's the numbers are saying at all. We're gonna be we're gonna be sworn to a life of totem placements. Can we go down that road? Have to reroll the dead eye corpse pack. I don't know if I can. I like you kind of need certain gear pieces to to make some tech with the corpse packs. So before until then, your build just doesn't work. Didn't expect to come here and see glacial cascade. This is actually ice crash. How's it working? Uh, it's okay. But I, I'm starting to have some existential dread about the fact we're going to be... One of our biggest power spike nodes is the totem nodes. Yeah, it's horrifying me a little bit. I really want to do Battle Mage of Seismic shenanigans as Gladiator. Oh, does Gladiator got Seismic? That's kind of cool. Or it's got five Battle Mage. Hmm. What? What if? The thing is like, oh, I'd have to, I'd have to reroll my jug, right? I'd have to reroll my jug completely. Because I don't have the regret arms to respec him. I don't have the regret arms to fix him. He's he's already too far gone. We've he's already a bricked setup right now, isn't he? Every PUB tooltip tells you to take Panopticon. Yeah, it's because it is objectively. There's gonna be some characters. There's gonna be a few cases where Whispers of Doom will outperform it, depending on what your character is. Because sometimes Curse can give you more than like 25% more damage, but it's pretty rare. Minions. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting.
Glad has Noxious Strikes, and Noxious Strikes is like the gain 30% fizz is extra chaos, right? Or is it something else? Hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wait, where's the... <sighs> Is it, like, is it gonna be like one of the top posts on the PU Reddit for the little viewer thing? Where we can where we can look at the tree again? <clears throat> see here. There it is. Like this. Click this, click this, click that. Is that what I have to do? Is that the way to do that? I done this correctly how do i get how do i get rid of this though what is this bar thing on the side can i get rid of this like, what is this what is what is this bar on the side here does this actually have ascendancy points as well no this does not have ascendancy points now there's a tree that oh my <gasps> Alright, fixed. <clears throat> fixed. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to burn your eyes there with the uh the wrong Google Doc. It has an sense if you choose the way it does. Mm, I must have bricked it. I must have bricked the input thing. The other's just a lot of the other stuff is correct though. Like the life node, the attack sword node. We still haven't found polymath, surely? We really we haven't found polymath? How have we not found polymath yet? This is, we're just, let's just get a little brief little look at what we're missing here. It's probably on Necro. <laughs> did we get, did we quit the Necro too early? Did we quit the Necro too early? Polymath would have saved it. No one wants to go through the garbage. <laughs> It's with it's with the war. It actually is a really giga chad war cry build just waiting to exist But then again, it's a war cry build and so therefore it will never exist Okay, this is not number seven of the reroll. We're just we're just doing a little bit of a looking around Okay We're doing a little bit of a looking around. Okay, let's see who's missing nodes see who's missing nodes And holy cow the effort put in who took the time to do this? Absolute mad lads. Found windward. Luckily, it's on hard destruction, so it doesn't brick something. Assassin is nice, but not trying to off color a pure armor chest sucks. Yeah. It's not easy, so you kind of need a. Nah, you still kind of have to off color it. Maybe if you did like cold reap or something, you wouldn't have to off color as much. It could be here. Unwavering faith is behind. Wait, where the hell is Unwavering Faith, actually? I'm gonna pull a POB separately. Just a look. Behind the Radiant Faith node. The Radiant Faith node has to be bad. That's the only way we don't know it, right? What's the Radiant Faith node? 
Ball savagery. That's not terrible. Like, Ball savagery isn't the worst thing ever. The regret scarcity is too much. The regret orb scarcity is, is rough. This is a this is a <laughs> war between formats. Who's winning though? Which which format's winning? Was Profane Bloom ever found? Uh, I don't think I've seen Profane Bloom yet. Could be Sanctuary Thoughts. Sanctuary Thoughts behind Divine Guidance, which is raining fetter. <laughs> oh, whenever to know what that is. No one wants to go back there. Instruments of Zeal, which is behind. Instruments of Virtue. Poison Crit. Ooh. Yikes. It's a little bit rough. Worst part is like the info gets lost every time it's changed the format. I think it's fine. I think the info is fine. The real winner is whoever this guy is, who made a fourth tab to put his picture in there. That's the real winner of the spreadsheet wars. Whoever that guy is. Okay. <clears throat> let's just, just take a look. Let's just take a look now that the nodes are more filled out, okay? And see what we're working with here, okay? Let's see what we're working with here. Maybe, maybe there are other things out there, okay? That we didn't know about. Okay. Escape Artist, Pain Forged. So the jug is kind of dead because the nodes behind element or the nodes behind here was wasn't an absolute banger. It needed an absolute banger, I think. You kind of have three good nodes and two of those nodes disagree with each other. And then the other stuff is all a little bit rough. If Negro has profane bloom and polymath, that would be hilarious. It might. It might just have those nodes back there. No one checked Chieftain. Um, Jung checked the last note for Chieftain. It's worthy foe. If they didn't put it in, yeah, yeah, they put it in. After finding the initial two, Berserker's been disappointing. Yeah, those initial two were real good ones. But, you, well, you kind of need inspirational is good as well, but you kind of need, you need something else because the, the two you found initially were, they disagree, right? So you need, you need two other nodes to then have two possible good build, like you build, good builds you can go into. Technically Champion has challenge charges What does this champion have the resummon golem brand node poison prolif So that that's where friggin master toxicist went But this other stuff is just, just a lot of garbage Poison brands Ugh. This, this note is just not good. I have no idea what to do with the tree. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. I'm having some secondhand regrets while I'm thinking about the fact that my last node is a totem node and it's hurting me on the inside. Chieftain just has some generically decent stuff. Chieftain does have some generically decent stuff. I don't know if I like Chieftain though. You have to take the Brando to get to the poison? Oh, is it really that? Oh my word, that's over. That's dead. You have to take the Brando to get to the Master Toxicist? <laughs> I bet the guy was like, yo, maybe I can, maybe behind this Brando, maybe I got, I got Polymath and it will save the build. It will save the build and I can make a brand. No, 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 no. Oh, that's too funny. That is too funny. What else are we working with here, though? Come on, what, are we, what else are we working with? What is what is Deadeye? Deadeye... 
I think that I could be a good build, but I kind of need some... I don't have the stuff I need to make the, the brand, the stuff actually... Like, it, it's in essence... Why can't this be a trade event, man? I, I could maybe, like, make this work if I could, like, buy the freaking... Check assassin. Yeah, I, I I know assassin. I've already skipped assassin. Was assassin okay? I didn't I didn't go over assassin. I guess that there was a couple nodes that weren't finished with assassin. The nodes that weren't finished with assassin were this one and this one. The other stuff with assassin's pretty good, but I don't know if I want to make a build with assassin tbh. Because you have to you have to get gear to make this node work, and it feels bad until you have gear. They crangled it a bit too much. Yeah, maybe a little bit too overkill and Krangle. I think I think I'd be down for if instead of mixing up all the mini, pa I think I think you don't go as hard rearranging small passives. Like if you re if you swap a set of nodes, bring the small nodes with it or something. Bring the br clusters should stay together. Clusters should stay because like to get to the to get to your major node, you shouldn't have to go through two travel passives. I think that's like really hard on builds. Because you have to, like, mana projectile. You have to go through mana projectile to just to get life. You have to go through who knows what to get the bleed. <clears throat> so I'm going to class start. No, I'm, I'm fine with mixing up the... I think mixing up the tree is good. But I think the clusters should stay clusters. There should be a set of all the all the clusters that have three passives. Swap all of those with different pa three passive clusters. All the clusters that are like this and have like, you know, 10 passives, swap those around. So you could get like freaking, you could get the fire nodes over on the axe nodes. You could get the lightning nodes over here or something. You're like, but you shouldn't, I don't know. It's the, the, the travel passives is, is hard. It's really, it's a lot of, it's a lot of build power cost. It's a matter of if we can find enough. Like that's where we kind of need this to be filled out completely just so we know what we're doing and taking in travel passives almost the small nodes add up they do the small nodes they do add up a lot if necro is polymath time for bleed rage vortex just need red blade planner and max crit somehow <laughs> somebody stop this man somebody stop this man he's about to hurt himself he doesn't he's about to hurt himself Pen or Ash Ignite Proj Curse Frenzy Plus Endurance or whatever. Elementals is just pretty decent. It's also weird at the same time. Alonzo's can go EA and be good, yeah. It is, it's one of the more synergistic setups. Like getting Ash plus the Ignite node together was pretty synergistic. Have we tried the visual version of the Kringle Tree? We have that over here, which I, I want to pick an Ascendancy before we go and try to plant out our tree. That's when we start looking at the tree again. Because we have, we have some stuff on the, on the thing, right? Things we don't we don't we only have the notables. We don't have the small passives. Where's the ascendancy doc from? Uh, it's just a community doc people have been putting together and contributing to. Yeah, random splinters you're not gonna find. You forget about it. Guardian as impale master of metal fizz taken as. The really good Hierophant node. This is interesting, kind of weird. The visualizer is created, but the community has to transcribe the info. Who, who are the people doing it though? Absolute giga chads. It's a, it's a freaking eight day event. Like just the fact that we have this this freaking like this was actually done is just hilarious and the fact we even got to this point like what the hell is going on eight day event pue players logging in <laughs> we we just want the tree man we just want the tree dude they, they better run this event again but to have like the tree visible or have regret orbs that just drop like candy so you can actually like respec and fix your character
We're a different breed, yeah. We're, we're, we're special. We're special for sure. I contributed Endless Hunger for Assassin, an absolute hero. I appreciate the services you've you've committed. Too many monkeys at typewriters? Yeah, a little bit. Harmony of Purpose. Okay, what the hell does Hierophant have? Okay, let's see here. Harmony of Purpose, decent, but also weird a little bit. Soul Drinker, Chain Reaction? The Totem Node? Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is... No, 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 no. This, this is almost as bad as Hierophant. What the hell is this, like... Why, what is this Totem Node doing here? Oh, disgusting. I mean, like, okay, Soul Drinker, this is good. Soul Drinker's good. That's good if you want CDR traps. Which which note is this on? Illuminated Devotion. Is that the first in the is that the first in the thing? No, that's back there. It's behind Arcane Blessing. What is it behind? Arcane Blessing is Harmony of Purpose. That's awkward. To charge support bot. You and nearby party members get charged. Oh, that is true. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you give up your four power and endurance to somebody. A little bit silly though, right? A little bit silly. Oh, what else we got? Oh. That's inevitable judgment, so you don't need that, I guess. You do have inevitable judgment. Fanaticism and inevitable judgment together. Frenzy impact. Instruments of zeal, which is behind instruments of virtue. A little weird. Profane bloom still not found. No, we, I don't think I've seen profane bloom. I haven't seen polymath. I haven't seen born of the shadows. A lot as few like freaking necromancy. <laughs> no, one's, no one wants to do it, man. No one wants to do it. The, behind the war cry note and behind the endurance charge note, there's some valuable information, guys. Where's the information? Uh, Pathfinder has Pathfinder has aspect of carnage. Pathfinder has aspect of carnage, uh, leech, traps, bleed explode. This totem note that's useless, and that totem note is blocking us from whatever master surgeon is. It's funny because the stuff that the data that we're missing is all related to freaking trash nodes being on the first of a of a two of a two point ring because no one's willing to just have a bad character till the next lab. No one wants to do it. If I found a red blade banner somehow, I'd be down to go Warbringer on Necro. I mean, it might there might be some good things there. Like you probably like it could be the best Warbringer build ever right polymath maybe could bay back there maybe there's something else cool but it's the same time man take the bullet cap no but my compare okay i guess my character was functional before i took apart its gear and stuff like that character i probably could have taken a cruel lab like it, it was viable enough i'm getting brand was kind of carrying i could have maybe made it to cruel lab i could have taken the bullet but i didn't want to i did not want to take the bullet that did not sound fun I'd have to summon totems, guys. I would have to summon totems. It would be it would be a whole thing. I don't know if I can do it. I don't I don't know if I have what it takes. I, I thought I had what it takes, but I've been thinking about it. I don't know. We might we might be rerolling. Let's be real. Captain Leech Nine, not a content supplier. What do you mean? I'm trying to make a good build, okay? I don't I don't wanna I don't want the first build to be trash. Okay, so I'm trying to trying to think about it a little bit. What, what the hell happened to saboteur i did get carried by subtracting that is true he did carry me through that lab have you tried dom blow i don't know dom blow feels just sounds weird i know i haven't i haven't given it a shot so saboteur got wrecked saboteur got wrecked right 
chain reaction is behind what behind perfect crime maybe it could be no no sabo got sabo got wrecked what happened oh slayers yeah slayer got freaking slayer had untiring and righteous providence and i was about to log in and then i woke up this morning to find that slayer got outmatch outlast and defy pain and then i logged out of slayer that's what happened this morning i was considering logging in but no nope 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 what happened to trickster trickster has radiant faith you do some crazy mana stack or something but you kind of you need gear for that you could do some interesting mana stacker, but you need you freaking need some gear for that. Cause you could do the, the crit nodes plus the mana nodes, and maybe it'd be interesting. Is Inquisitor any good? Dude, I like how they made the saboteur picture small as well, just to signify how trash it is. Inquisitor is weird. It maybe could be good. Where is Inquisitor? Where is it? Am I blind? There it is. Inquisitor is weird. Instruments of Virtue, Pen. These notes are just like awkward. They're really awkward. They drive me crazy. Fanaticism does. There may be a scenario where you're doing. You're getting base crit from this. You're not actually basing your damage off poison. You have Pen. I don't know. Inquisitor seems like it could be just hella awkward. It seems maybe too awkward. Where would I say Profane Bloom is? I'm gonna say it's behind this poison node. I'm gonna say it's Instruments of Zeal. If hypothetically Necro had Profane Bloom, would you play it now? I, I don't value Profane Bloom that much. I know Profane Bloom is like very popular and people love it. I, I generally don't usually care about it that much. I think, I think there's, there's scenarios where Profane Bloom would feel really, really good. Like for example, if if the elementalist ignite node ended up on the same place profane bloom did i'd be logging in because that's that it that, that that equates to cool chain explodes that could be fun but i wasn't seeing that next cap's gonna wrap on drag on death south i think it's i think it's the pious path jug flask node angle chill It's just another cold dot build. I've deducted that the red, but you're actually going to try to force Necro, aren't you, Husido? You're a man that wants to see that node unveil those nodes unveiled. Your props to you. No, I don't want to do Righteous Fire. I wouldn't want to do Cold Dot. The question is, though, if we did do a Jug Start, these nodes... No one's no one's like showcased the nodes, right? They're like bad, aren't they? Let me relog. I have some of the nodes revealed on my character. They're really bad though. Area, strength, mana, elemental damage with attacks, regen life, crit, suppress, leech. Melding's okay. It has. There's just so much travel. There's just so, so much travel. Your chest to see if on leave, if you can even find it. Good luck, man. Is science science turned off for the event? We haven't found every notable? Dang.
I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Is the good is the good ascendancy? Can the good ascendancy outweigh the terrible tree? Like Doubt? Only you have aspect of carnage? I don't know if that like It's just you just have so many so many travel nodes that just aren't doing anything for you. Right just decrees okay. Just, there's just a lot of the stuff that's just like so it's so so rough hack damage accuracy it's just, it's just maybe too over all over the place because even if you have a decent notable, your travel, all your travel nodes, all your small nodes have just given you close to nothing, right? You've gotten very little value out of it. Unironically, a minion build would probably do well on this tree because it needs so little stuff. And yeah, you're kind of right. Because a minion build is basically you get a few minion passives and then you're literally just grabbing some clusters, you're just grabbing some live and going. I hate how true that is. Minion passives, minion small passives are pretty strong. I'm just thinking of like my holy relic character. I barely took any minion passes on it. And it was just like a couple clusters mostly. Can you share this tree? Uh I don't know if this link will work or not. It's uh it's hold on. It's this no, it's not this. Where is it? It's this thing. It's this post, and you have to do you have to click the one top thing and you have to do the copy paste to make the nodes appear. Like, I don't know, man, that's just... The small nodes being so scuffed are maybe too hard to work around. You just like you're just lagging so much damage, aren't you? Good concept, but a bad execution. I think I think it. I think the the I think the clusters have to stay together. I'm trying to think what what would make stuff work. I think if this the small nodes having like the the small nodes are a big deal. So like it, you, you're just losing a lot of. Uh, you're spending so many points on travel, basically, and not, and then that's, I think that's too much of a break. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Because it's like all we can really go off are. Maybe, I don't know. Even with a full tree reveal, I don't know. Even with a full tree reveal, I have a hard time seeing it. Keep pushing with your character, see how far you can go with it. Yeah, we might keep doing that. Because we have... 
I mean, our character's like not the worst, <laughs> right? Our character's okay. Even though it might be pretty rough. Do we keep going with the character, guys? Do we keep going? Better than your previous? Yeah. I don't know if I can make other stuff work. I think it'll be a lot more pain and re-leveling and stuff. I don't know if I want to do that. Now back to the necro. No, don't make me do the necro. Don't make me do the necro. Everything looks rough here, yeah. I mean, my current tree with the dude I have isn't terrible. It is technically viable-ish. I might just be going back to LA. Didn't think it would be this badly crangled. It is pretty rough. I'm trying to think if I can make this character work or not with the nodes we have in front of us. I mean, where I am on the tree with, hold on, let's log back into our actual character. Like we're, we're currently viable as is right now, right? We can maybe end up getting enough respect points to get out of this traveling that I did. Give up on this traveling, go through here, get the life node along the way. Go for... The... I mean, we're about to pick up nodes here that are decent, I think. And then we can also get... Overcharge as we want the mini damage scaling node, which would probably be fine because it's 40%, 20%, Notables? I, I would think it would be okay if it was crangling the clusters. Yeah, yeah, I know it's two max res there. Yeah, we were, we were looking at it. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What is the scenario where we where we log in and we make it work? I think this character could probably make it work okay. Log into heist to get regret orbs? No. I don't want to log into heist. I'm not that far gone yet. I'm a little bit bummed out though. Because it does it does seem like there's too much cost with the crangled small passives. I was thinking it wouldn't be too bad, but the longer I look at the tree and think about it, the more I'm thinking, man, we are losing a lot with the small passives. And especially a lot if you're not near usable notable. You just have to use like, there's so much travel. Make regrets as common as a transmute. Yeah, that would have helped a decent amount for the, the ability to respec. Well, what I'm saying is, I don't know, like, even if even if we know every every node, I think it's still kind of hard. It's like playing a character half the, half the level. Yeah, you're losing a lot of power from the passives. Am I excited for the new league? Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm freaking stoked. 
we've been we've been going through the extra month of waiting and it's been uh it's been a bit brutal but uh i think it'll be a lot of fun we'll see i have high hopes Numbers League? What do you mean by Numbers League? Just repair. I just look at it as there are a bunch of extra stats that you usually get that are dead. Yeah, that stuff adds up. It definitely, it definitely adds up, right? Oh, this is an axe node and I'm using a sword. Why am I specking to it? What am I doing? Oh, the gay life on hit. It's not the worst thing ever. Technically usable. I think if they make a few tweaks, this could be super fun. I think so too. I, I, I like the idea a lot because there's like the thing is the, the stuff they do with the ascendancies. Well, the big the biggest part to me is the the warp of ascendancies. That's the most interesting part where you get some unique combination that allows you to do something you couldn't do before, right? That I think is by far the most like usable. I, I don't think I don't think okay this they should keep the the small passive that leads into the big passive for the ascendancy that should stay together right I, I don't think we should be losing 40% damage and like 20% armor just because we have to like the randomizing of the small ascendancy passive that's just loss in power I don't think we should be taking they the, they they should keep the small point that goes next to the the big point so there's at least some synergy between the big points you're putting together that i think works if you use that for the ascendancies i think that works fine because there's going to be a lot of interesting combinations even if you full random it ascendancies are powerful and interesting enough that there can be a lot of unique combos i don't think that i think that works out fine right when i look at the ascendancies i think there's some cool stuff we could do the whole tree though the randomizing of the small nodes i think that's too hard the small the, the all the all the i don't know i think it's basically just the, the small nodes and the ascendancies and the small nodes on the tree need to be more congruent with each other i think you're losing you're losing too much base power by separating those things and randomizing that as well because at base there's just, just way too much stuff that doesn't that's too specific that's not going to apply generally so the likelihood that you're going to get the value back is very very low yeah it's too cr it's just too crangled they went full crangled i think they they crank they uncrangle it just a bit and uh i think it's a, a really fun sandbox i think they uncrangle it just a bit and if they want to run it blind they they have to add like some crazy drop rate for regrets or they don't or it's just not the, the event's not blind it's less scrangled and not blind or blind with a lot of regrets has anyone killed xark and eater uh they're probably somebody's done it maybe not yet i don't know there's been a lot i don't know that's true maybe no one has done it yet because it's been it has been like uh like if you're just trying to straight bomb rush it you, you'd have to have a build that could kill Eater and Exarch without any usable passive because pretty much everybody's gonna have a brick passive tree if they were trying to race for it, right? Maybe at this point you have you have a good enough idea where, where people could shoot for it. Kind of metadata, the it isn't like data mined. It's basically uh, people have looked up looked up various tree location stuff. People have taken time to say, hey, I found this note here and everybody's been compiling. It's been a community effort. That's what's, uh, that's what's been going down. Do they have a synergy rating? No, I don't think so. No, I, I think it's 100% just truly crangled. I think they did exactly what they said they did. They took the minor nodes, put it all in a pool, mixed it up, replaced them in random locations, took all the notables, replaced them in random locations, took all the... I think they did a true crangle. Which is, which is probably why it's too crangled, right? They did a true crangling.
They should have changed anything and made everything blind just to screw with us. Now that would have been lame. I mean, we would know so quickly that it isn't. Like, it would be so obvious if that it wasn't crangled correctly, right? <laughs> PvP players know the tree way too well to not, like, pick up on that. You would know within the first few passes, you'd be like, hey, this is actually just the same as it normally is. What do you guys think? What do you think? Do we take our Ice Crasher all the way to Eater and Exarch? Do we actually try to finish the whole objective of the thing? Like, there's no way our whatever the hell our time is is going to be the fastest, right? Because we're not... Like, there's going to be somebody who, like... Once they have the full tree data, there's going to be a six-man team that, like... Guns it, right? Does it, like, a five-hour time or something. Why not? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, the why not scenario is... Am I going to burn myself out doing this before the fresh league? That's the why not. I think you take Ice Crash to the Ice Trash. <laughs> fair point, fair point. The consideration is, will, we, will I burn myself out too much on PvE? Forcing a subpar character just because of the roughness of the base tree is what I'm thinking. That's the that's the risk. That's the risk. Zen Yuguru brought this. <laughs> Not to mention the one minute timer. We're gonna we're we're gonna have survivability problems. We get into maps, we're gonna have survivability problems. I might have 2k life now, but that's Still lower than it should be at this point, right? And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have problems with reservation on my auras for defensive auras. Do the inverse go play something insane on standard? Nah, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get much enjoyment out of that. You should do play it as intended. Just use what knowledge you have to see what you come. You come up with okay so okay right now as is when i'm looking at the tree even if i'm looking at some of the better the better combination of ascendancies like i think i think the ascendancy combo on juggernaut is really really good i think it's really really good i look at the tree and i think even this really really good what i would think would normally be an op ascendancy with these combination nodes my brain says this is going to be trash That's that's what's going through my head, right? I, I can't I can't see the scenario where I'm not making a pile of garbage with the with the base tree. I think there's too much player power lost on the small nodes. I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be less than five clears total. I can see more than five clears total. Um, okay. I think I could do the clear. Um, like, uh, I think I could probably do the clear on this build. Realistically, I think I could do the, build, the clear on this kill, on this build. Because Exarch and Eater, they aren't that hard at fights. Like, they're, and honestly, if I just do the mechanics, like I can, I can have a pretty trash build and just do base Eater, back base Exarch. But I'm thinking about the process of me going from finishing the campaign to red maps where I spawn either an Exarch. And I think that's that's a for me, that's that's going to take me, you know, 10 to 20 hours or something. Right. And it's going to be 10 to 20 hours of me tilting about 
about the the, the strength of my character <laughs> of what it what it what it could be if the tree wasn't so crangled right so i'm thinking i'm thinking long lines well and the, the other part is the uh i don't want to burn myself out to be honest because I, I want to be I want to be able to be like pretty excited about playing PUE come new league start I don't want to be thinking about how I just spent a week really recently grinding out the bad tree yeah and the one minute AFK timers every time we die which we're gonna die a lot when we get into maps right the defenses are gonna be hard to get to the point where it's good Did Subtractum sound defeated by the end of the day, guys? He sounded a little bit defeated when you guys came. Any 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 people that were there? How 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 defeated did he, did he sound? Do I do I sound more defeated right now? You seem pretty done, yeah. Back to LE, yeah. I'm, I might be going back to LE. The Void Knight would have been... I was pretty excited about that Void Knight character I was making. I think it would be fun. Necro's going to be good as, as the Major better. Oh, for D4? The Sork did seem pretty... Uh, pretty busted compared to, like, the Barb, for example. More bear content? It wouldn't be bear. It would be, it'd be purple orb enjoyer content is what it would be. I was thinking now Trinity Ellie hit would be good with a Krangle tree. I think for a Krangle tree, I was thinking this. I was thinking about this a little bit. I was like, what is a scenario where a Krangle tree doesn't feel so bad? And the the word that came to mind was Veranostra. Because <laughs> so every time I run into a bad notable for some different weapon type, I still actually get the value from it. You know, all the claw, all the dagger, all the axe, all the sword, mace. I pick it all up. I got a Veranostra, baby, but like, I don't have a Veranostra, right? Cause freaking rare item. So, rest in peace me, I guess. But there was, there was that thought process, like, but man, that would be nice. How can I join this league? Uh, Yarlamas, if you want to play the Kringle League, you want to click the create private league button. It should take you to the Path of Exile site. And you want to select the option to create a Krangled League. It should be free to make. Um, the way they decided to run this is they have people create their own private leagues for up to six-man teams. Wild Strike Veranostra. Yeah, so you get full conversion to any elemental type. So all the elemental nodes work. All the Fizz nodes work. All the weapon different types nodes work. Just pick up all the extra value. The div card for Veranostra drops in coves, yeah, but then we'd have to actually like we get, we'd, have to, we'd have to farm the div card. We'd get value from this. Well, actually, there was a lot of nodes I didn't pick up because there were there were nodes for different weapon types, right? So I could probably go back and pick up the different weapon type nodes. I get value from a lot of the small nodes I didn't get value from before. Let's see, what other small nodes that I have that I didn't get value from before? Where were I? Dual wheel? No, I wouldn't get that actually. Two handed impale, dang it, I wouldn't get that actually. Uh, I would get value from. I would get value from. Wait. I'd get value from. Boom! Crit multi. Picked up 15 crit multi. Easy, clean. I could grab that. Another 15 crit multi there. I could grab. I could grab, um. <laughs> I could grab, I could grab, I could grab. Ah, uh, four attack speed from this axe node. No, it's too, it's too crangled. It's too crangled. It's too crangled for Veranasha. Granted, there's going to be notables that there's more synergy for. Like if you actually like try to go for Veranasha or whatever, but then we have to like try to make a tree of Veranasha. And even then it's probably, it might be still too crangled. What do you think about Kringle Assassin? Uh, I think Kringle Assassin can be pretty strong. And I say that, but I also think in the back of my head, the tree is so limiting. 
I think I think for uh, for you to fully take advantage of like the the Giga Chad possibilities, it's cluster jewels, right? Cluster jewels are the solution. You just need to you need to have a tree where you path to just three large clusters, right? And then you have a tree that's close to the normal base power of a tree. But you're gonna have terrible EHP. You're gonna have terrible life. So somehow you need to you need to grab some life while you're pathing to all the cluster jewels, right? I gotta check your current build. I'm playing something. Um, I don't know how you check my current build. Can 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 you import characters from Krangled League? The thing is, it won't show you the Krangled passives. It'll probably show you the regular passives. Can you even import characters from Krangled League? Is that even possible? Or is it too bricked? What do you guys think? Is it too bricks? I guess I could test it right now. Import, export, build. Captain Lance. Oh, I can't import. Okay. Click this. Click this. Click this. No, you can't import him. Nope, that didn't work. Yep. Uh, so to see what you're missing, well, you just gotta do this. You just got this is the this is the play right here. Just do what it would do this. You, you, you just rake it all in just soak it in just open your eyes and do whatever I'm doing right here Then you'll be good to go. You just You just gotta do the thing actually. I we can't actually share POVs because it's too crangled That being said I wish I didn't go up here I wish I didn't go up here and I wish I went through here because there's a there's a good life note here and a good life note here But that maybe we could have some okay HP, but it would still be scoffed You can view all the website viewer? Okay, maybe that's the play. Abyssal normal jewel for HP. Every jewel socket is OP and Krangle. Yeah, I think you have you have to go Jewel sockets and clusters to fix the issues with the with the tree. And maybe there's a couple clusters that makes sense like maybe like the plus one curse maybe like maybe path to that still or something i dropped face breakers at act two so i'm playing ice crash oh nice face breakers are pretty cool that's kind of fun you're gonna want a lot of flat fizz on your jewelry and stuff and maybe you try to stack HP somehow and get uh, the bloodthirst maybe. Still would be scuffed, I think. Here for your daily abuse, Skojin? I, I, I'm not a daily abuser of you, Skojin, okay? I just simply tell you, you need to calm down with the feet picks, okay? Not everyone has that same fetish. Reservation, right now we have Grace, Precision, Herald, but it's like... Ideally, we want to get the Devouring Diadem and then maybe we could fit Determination and we could go for Hatred on a Divine Blessing, maybe. I think that would probably fit and then we could we could have actually decent armor and evasion set up there I'll grab the master that gives me armor and evasion or the gain evasion is armor maybe probably pick up defiance banner too I just spent time to figure out what the remaining missing Ascensi notables are. Necromancer seems to have a good odds to be in a cool melee combo. It might, honestly. Behind behind Warbringer, there might be some really Giga Jad nodes. 
which maybe could save it like straight up it maybe could save it i hate to say it it maybe could save it but you'd, you'd be playing war cries at that point which that sounds wrong to me that sounds a little bit wrong to me Is that attack speed is unethical i wanted to go way 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 faster but we need to get our merc lab we need to get our uh other lab behind that but then it's gonna require totems so we're looking forward to this event but it feels like the ascendancies were purposely balanced and not be op versus actually being random um it's it's possible but i don't think so because there's i think there's quite a few ascendancies that are actually much stronger than others but there is um i think the the, the tree itself even if you had like the four you're you're picking your four perfect ideal nodes the tree itself is is so rough I think you're still gonna have a bad time, or so it's still gonna be more uh, rough. I just get a freeze box. I just got a freeze box. That, that's cool. They definitely put some time into improving their randomness in some way. <clears throat> okay, it's possible. It's possible. Okay, it seems pretty random to me. It's possible they have the, the thing that the button that, that randomizes stuff and they hit it a few times like they hit it once and like oh everybody's gonna be doing this one class and they hit it again to try to like keep it a little bit like not one dimensional maybe I don't know that, that that's maybe possible there's no standout ascendancy I think there's a few that stand out as, as much better ascendancies I like the set of nodes jug has quite a lot I like the set that assassin has a decent amount I like a cultist set there's some nodes that we don't know though yet. But but I think I think the, the large issue is the tr the tree itself. The tree itself is a large issue. Like for example, I I would probably take I would probably take the Krangle Jug setup and I'd use it over most of the current ascendancies we have available. Like, I think it does. I think it's skewed power wise in terms of the stuff it has available to it to it, but At the same time If I could have the jug with a normal tree, that'd be sick the crown tree I think I ended up at a weaker build Until I get like crazy clusters and actual like gear to support the the power of the ascendancy I'm new to this game, picked Assassin, got the level 18. Did I get frozen again? I'm new to this game, picked Assassin. Feel super squishy and I don't do a lot of damage. Are you playing the Krangled event, the Gooseneck, or are you playing just as an Assassin randomly? Or the Shadow build? Most likely, I would say you probably have the scenario where you picked a skill that isn't good. Like, there are some skills that are objectively just kind of weak early on. And you might have picked one of those skills, would be my guess. Because the, the starting skills are not equally made. They're not equally... Like, if you pick the Shadow and you went with Explosive Trap, you'd have a skill that does a lot of damage early on. And it's pretty easy to scale on it. If you grab, like, percent damage nodes, you pick up Trickery, you pick up the initial damage nodes, you're going to be cruising through killing things, right? You have some poor gems to support it, you're going, right? You pick a bad skill like what's an example of a bad skill that a shadow would start with that would be kind of rough i feel like freezing pulse wouldn't feel great early on type of type of example some stuff is just like weaker at, at, out, out of the gate right double strike yeah you could you could have picked the skill that yeah if you picked an attack skill and you're not updating your weapon then you're just you're gonna deal no damage right that's another thing like there's there's nuance to it where a spell will scale with you and maybe a spell will work out better if you're a new player if you don't know to make uh weapon upgrades you're just gonna be come on okay fantastic you're just gonna be dead in the water right i did double strike oh yeah yeah that's that's why the goose that is 100 percent why the 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 attack based skills they require more like you have to know how to upgrade your weapon you have to know how to make an up like there's vendor recipes that you wouldn't know 
the, the game doesn't tell you them. You learn that over time from other people telling you them, and you look up, like, the wiki and stuff. But it's, like, outside of that, you get to level 18, you're gonna get hard stuck with the, the level of gear you, like, the bad weapon, bad skill. There's gonna be roughness there. Freezing Pulse doesn't feel good at first. You can make it decent later on, but I think initially it's a weak skill. I need to respect that, Degoose. I, Degoose, I would almost recommend. Hmm. That's a good recommendation. I mean, I don't know how many nodes you've specced specifically into like the double strike setup you have, but I, I would recommend doing a spell. Um, like if you're doing a shadow, I'd recommend like a trapper. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like the, the most awkward part of PUE. And I honestly think the worst part of PUE is the first few acts and the, the initial part. Cause it's like, so the game is so much harder initially based on how bad your character is initially. Juggerf, yeah, but Juggerf, he'd need to follow, he would 100% need to follow, like, Pox's guide for it, to have a good idea of how to set it up and get it going. More or less, Degoose, I think if you wanted to have a good time in terms of, like, not getting just punished by the leveling experience, you probably want to follow some sort of build based on some sort of league start. Like, I, I would look up league starter spell build, something like that. That would probably be something that doesn't isn't too hard to follow or straight more straightforward. What happened? The arrow found Pi's path for me. Uh, arrow. It's not what it looks like. It's so. What happened was. Okay, here's what happened. Here's what happened. <clears throat> I started to level that character, and then all the nodes sucked. All the nodes were garbage, and my character dealt no damage. And then I got the lab, and instead of grabbing Pius Path, I decided to be a man of science, okay? I decided to be a man of science, and I looked at some of the Berserker nodes to help to help the cause, okay? And we discovered uh, Berserker had one good node, and was also bricked by Tuko or Twahu's Chosen or whatever. I tried to tell you, yeah, well... Here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the short answer. Error, I've come to a conclusion. I've come to a realization today. It doesn't really matter where you start on the tree. Okay, it matters, it matters somewhat. There are, like, the Marauder start is definitely worse than, like, the Witch start. But, you still end up in the same situation. A.K.A. The, the, the tree is too crangled. The tree is too crangled to make a viable, or a feels good viable character. Suffering for science, yes. I even had I had to get subtract them to carry me through lab. Ooh, three fusings. That's a huge. That's at least almost one scouring. That's one half of a regret to fix mistakes. Yeah, but yeah, but I, I long story short, I think the tree is too crangled. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm like, do I really want to go through maps and progress and get more burnt out on PUE rather than just enter the next league start fresh? And the question is, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm right now. I'm thinking I might, I might re-log in tomorrow into LE. Tomorrow might be LE day. The tree being a spreadsheet. No, thanks. They, the, the people have put more effort into it. There's been a grind by the community and now here, I'll show you there. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Look, look at this. Look at this. Did you, did you see this yet? Arrow? People have put the crangled tree into into a viewer <laughs> people okay they haven't done it all right they're still missing nodes right they're still missing nodes but people put like most of the notables are in the viewer yeah people are dedicated it's insane it's crazy it really is what are you grinding for xp to goose there's there's points like a lot of times you want some xp to get power right now i'm just kind of mindlessly going through the wrong the rings of like realization that is not happening 
Got all the community ads. It's the community is fantastic. For this. For this specific community is fantastic. The the other side of the community, the Reddit side, the complain side, the, the GGG hates me side. I can't stand that portion though. There's a Krangle tree. Yeah, people people have made have been putting together the Krangle tree. This is this is a they've put a lot of it into, they haven't done it all. I have a good excuse not to play this. I'm happy I'm coughing my lungs out. <laughs> Link? Uh, it's it's this thing. It's this post. You basically have to open up the, the, the GitHub link and then you have to do the... You have to copy the text from this paste bin into the Krangle viewer in this spot right here and then click import slash overwriting. And it should import the nodes. The tree will be solved as soon as they run the the, th the thing is it's not solving the tree though you can you can get all the notables but even with all the notables the tree's not solved you still need masteries you still need the small nodes that stuff adds up and e even even if we get all the small nodes in the masteries i still don't know if we can make a solid build out of the krangle tree i think it's too it's too krangled it's too krangled that's the issue the, it, it, we went too too far to the crangling. We went a bit too far in the crangling. Yeah, so long story short guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can do it. I think tomorrow we might be logging into LE. There's a ton of life at the bottom of the tree, but you need, like, you need, you need damage and life. You need damage and life. You need both, and you need to not spend too many travel passes to get it. Yeah, I, I don't want to get burnt out. I want to enjoy doing a little bit of preparation work for the Holy Relic build, and then log in to enjoy League Start. These events stink out loud. I think most of them were kind of... The crate. This one could have been good, though. I think if they, I think if they just they, we settle for like a semi crangle, and not have the tree be blind or make regret orbs drop like candy. That 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 is the scenario where, I think this crangle event could be really fun. But it has to be less crangle. They have to they have to reduce the crangling. For the good tree, I think Kringle would be a good event. Yeah, I think it I think it has to be a more stable tree. I, I could go I could go for I think you you can you keep when you crangle the ascendancies, you keep the small ascendancy point. I.e. the tailwind node should come with the tailwind stuff that's attached to it. The radiant crusade should come with the Okay, that was just RNG, but I actually think that is the that actually is what the Radiant, the Radiant Crusade would have next to it. I think actually, but yeah, you keep you keep the small node with the, the respective big node, so there's some synergy there, and um, it's not freaking blind, or there's actually a lot of regret orbs to respec, and then the tree, the clusters have to stay intact. The clusters stay intact, and the travel makes is is less dead. Infinity regrets. I don't know about infinity regrets, but like regrets dropping like a ton would be good. But like maybe maybe infinite regrets for the league, like just infinite refund points. Make it not blind. I I lean towards make it not blind. I mean, just show the tree. That's that's what I think is the, the best solution. But I think for the people that want to play it blind, that the medium ground like the middle ground between us and the people that want to play it blind is the regret orbs right like if the whole passive wheel stayed synergized but got crangled into a different spot that's what i think like freaking 
the scion wheel is up here it's where the es wheel is and the es wheels down here or, or something like that or the freaking like stuff that like s keep the wheels intact that way you're not spending three bad nodes to get one good node because i'm spending it I'm, ba I'm basically every time i'm grabbing a cluster i'm grabbing bad nodes to get a good node bad nodes to get good nodes bad nodes to get good node bad node to get good node bad nodes to get good node and it, it, you end up losing like 60 percent of your player power 70 percent or something like some crazy number because you're wasting so many points Four X regard orb? No, no, not four X. It would need to be like a hundred X. I would I would have already used like two hundred regret orbs on this if I was actually doing this blind and not just trying to look it up. <laughs> I would have used way more than that. I think most people would have too. I wanted the crazy mix of ascendancies for Raku Wheels is too crangled, yeah. The ascendancies I think is the best part about it. The ascendancy stuff this works fine. I think the small nodes just still stay with the big node though, so there's still some level of synergy based on the big nodes you get. The middle ground is keep the tree hidden in game and make a page on the site for those that want to know. Okay, that could work too. That could work too. That way you could POB it. I don't know though, I don't know if I like that a ton though, because then you're specifically going out of game to do it, which is more annoying. I did not realize they cringled the tree that way. Well, I'm saying if they did cringle it that way, if they cringled it and like kept some synergy between the wheels. Yeah, and mastery should probably stay with, with their respective nodes. That's yeah, that's a good point. You get you get screwed on masteries too. The masteries isn't as bad, but it, yeah, no, it's still bad. Who am I kidding? It's still pretty rough to get friggin mastery points you can't take advantage of because masteries are a lot of player power as well I, I hope they i hope they don't throw this idea in the trash i hope they do consider like next time they run events i hope they consider doing krangle event again but i hope they do a mid krangle I hope, they, I hope they meet us in the middle with a little bit more synergy on the tree so that way you can actually make functionally good powerful characters why every event feels like it's supposed to make the game as hard as possible i don't know if every event was supposed to do that i think they wanted to do some sort of like team race thing and that just missed the mark for a lot of people because poe players are mostly solo players like going into this when they describe the randomized tree, mentally, I didn't wrap my head around how screwed this would be in terms of like how bad your tree would be. You know what I mean? I guess that if they could see the full tree going into this before they posted the league, like, I don't know if I, if I could look at the, if I looked at the full tree before going into the league, I'd think this is way too scruffed. But going into it, not looking at the tree, not thinking like how this would look out I didn't think it would be as big of an issue, but it's it's a pretty big issue. We're the beta tester. <laughs> sure. I assume so many travel nodes would be useful. Boy, was I wrong? Yeah. Yeah, that's I I I made that incorrect assumption as well, Arrow. I made that incorrect assumption as well. It's just so many. There's just so many small nodes that are. There's just so many this specific things. Like part of PoE is just how many different like archetypes and whatnot there are, and that means if you have a thing for one archetype, it doesn't work for another archetype usually. You playing on Steam? Uh, I play on like a regular client for PoE. I don't do the Steam client because the Steam client will keep track of my hours, and I don't want to know how many hours I've put into this game. It's better to not know. The first link skill I hit was the first travel I hit was a link skill. Yeah, 
I think I've hit Link skill notable small travel passes multiple times. And I'm thinking Link skill is such a, like a niche thing. How have I run into this multiple times? Boats League would have worked if you had Battle Mage Ascendancy as a start? No, I don't think so. That doesn't... That's... That just is changing how you're gearing your character somewhat. For And then you're doing only a spell build, not an attack build. That's basically just if you got Gladiator Ascendancy with it. I mean, in a lot of cases, in the base game, you get way too much attribute, making the small passive dead. That's not... The thing is, small passives aren't dead, though. They're not... They're not dead. Small passives are actually quite valuable. One, in this, ga in this game mode, our attributes are actually kind of a problem. Like, attributes are kind of a problem. And not only that, attributes are useful. Strength gives you one life per two strength. So when I have a... When I have a, a guy over here in melee and I get 300 strength without even thinking about it, I have 150 flat life that is just on my build. Not to mention I also have another, like, what is that? Freaking 60% uh, increased damage from the strength? Like, that adds up. That is value. That That is, that is something that's going to be useful to my character. That, that, that means something, right? If I have an ES character, the int gives you percent energy shield. Almost... Sometimes it's half of your percent energy shield scaling is from int, and a lot of times it can be more than that. It also gives you mana, makes mana problems worse on a caster-based character. It doesn't really solve it, but it helps contribute to it not sucking. Dexterity is probably the weakest of the group, but it it still does something in accuracy, and then it can also mean you you can get spell suppressed from something like Mage Bane out of it. To say that attributes aren't valuable is... No, not, it's not true. I give up after I used up all of my regret and refund points. Yeah, it's it's, it's too crangled. I have to work hard to get enough strength to use determination molten shell. Yeah, if you're if you're not over here, you have to you have to spec for it, right? If you're on this side of the tree, but uh, it's pretty rough to do. Conversely, this helps emphasize how useful the generic attribute. Yeah, it does. It does because the generic, the generic attributes are pretty. They do have value. But it's it's the thing is it's not just the. If all I was giving up is the generic attributes, I'd be okay, I think. But the giving up the the notable, the the passives to the notable, the passives to the notable, the passives to the notable. That's that's value, right? That because those, the small passives to the notable are quite quite a bit stronger than uh, the base attributes, even though the base attributes still have value. But you're still losing a lot to do that, right? Oh, ah. Uh. Make a full travel team being very selective on notables. I actually have made multiple. The characters that are basically full travel trees that I've made are tri attribute stackers, and those characters turn out decently, but that's. They basically get carried by specific masteries. The attribute mastery, Cyclopean Coil, some of the keystones. Like, you can make tri attribute stackers where they're basically an entire build that's the travel tree, and it still does quite well. Anyways. Cluster jewels, yeah, you kind of need cluster jewels to to fix the tree weakness, but I don't I don't want to farm for cluster jewels. I don't want to fix it that way. I think tomorrow I'm gonna log into last epoch. I think that's just gonna happen. I think I'm I'm too burnt out of the Kringle tree. It's too it's too scuffed. I think it is too scuffed. I believe. See who sh is there? People still streaming Path of Exile. Is no one actually streaming Path of Exile?
Fun to explore, too scuff to enjoy the build, though, yeah. Big miss on the events. Yeah, this is the one that had a chance, but I think it's, it's just too crangled. I hope they I hope they try again for it though. But they less crangle. Less crangle. <laughs> less crangle so we can make good builds. I wanna, I wanna make some overpowered builds based on the crangling. That's what I that's what I think most people want. They want some cool synergy to make some archetype they've thought about making previously actually work. Right? That's the that's the thing that I think people wanted from this event, but the the, the tree's too scrangled and it, it gimps you too hard to take advantage of the weird combinations of ascendancy notables or ascendancy points. Boop, 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 boop. Deterministic crangling? I think just more more controlled crangling. Less less random, more more precise. <laughs> more precise crangling. Uh I don't I don't know any of these people streaming right now. I think I might send you guys over to Perry. <laughs> send you guys over to Perry. Play last Epoch, I think. <laughs> Do I, is that is that bad for me to send you guys to get someone streaming a different game? Is that is am I a bad person if I do that? Nah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna send you guys to Perry. He's streaming last epoch. If you're burnt out on the crangling, if you're burnt out on the crangling, um, last epoch's a fun game to play until we get the real league. Until we get the real league, last epoch's a fun game to play. That's what I'll say. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate you, dudes. But man, I I can't do it. The crangling's too much. I think tomorrow we're gonna be logging into last epoch. Tomorrow we're gonna be logging into last epoch. Have fun in Perry stream. Appreciate everybody who hung out for my rant on crangling and until next time you guys have a good night you guys have a good night you guys are awesome you wanna go shield rush we talked about doom shield rush in the past hey captain lance what's going on Whew. man this is the perfect time to talk about terrible builds lance how's your stream today Welcome to everyone else coming on over from the stream arena. Crangle League is too crangled. Gotta get you're really coming back to the last deep.